Hey, how's everyone going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Exosonic Show. Hey, how's it going, Exercise Force? That <laughs> post is good. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today is supposed to be a chill out stream, but um, I'm just gonna have a regular stream because I've been skipping days, guys. Um, that's now how I want to have us, you know, have this community experience. Um, you know what it is we gotta do together. You know, which is you know doing art. You know, learning Blender, doing stuff in 3D code, sculpting, doing animation, that kind of thing, you know, um, getting into game design or level design. Level design. Ha! When I hear that, it sounds great to me. I don't know about you. Does it sound good to you when you hear level design? I do. So, level design is a pretty cool thing. And, you know, let's talk about level design for a little bit. And uh, we can kind of, you know, I like visual aids, you know, not just all talking and stuff, but, you know, and I like music too, you know, like hip hop. Like I like this beat that's playing right now. And I hope that this experience of watching, you know, your old buddy Green Bay here with a coffee is an invigorating, you know, cozy, relaxing, you know, an energizing experience for you and I hope that you know you're brave enough to tell you know your other friends and you know let's grow the community guys let's do this let's get in here and be really cool artists doing really nice art you know stuff like that I like collaboration I like sharing ideas I like doing different things man we should be taking off right but let's keep at it let's see where we go you know if you want to interact with me and you want to talk you know I listen to everyone that comes on here and I view everyone as valuable I view all their ideas as val valuable and your thoughts and I really do um, I really do value people you know um, if it's anything you know as I said you know I don't know if you guys you know if you've been watching me for a while you probably know a little bit of my background you know I was in architectural design you know um, company for many years I worked there and I did, you know, 3D and special effects, believe it or not. And, um, you know, even before that, I helped a guy who's actually one of my friends who's actually a, a director in Hollywood now, you know, and that's, you know, he's not like the most famous director, but he's, he's a director in Hollywood. And, and that's so cool, you know, to know that, you know, you know, your friends are making it. That's so cool. And, you know, I see you as my friend and I know you'll make it in whatever endeavor you set out to be. And no goal is too impossible because it always takes somebody to do something, right? So if your goal is to be an astronaut, you need people to be an astronaut. So you might just be the person to be an astronaut, you know? So I, I think when people look at other people and think that their dreams are silly, I think that person is short-sighted because there's no dream that's too silly as long as it's a good dream and it's not destructive, right? So, <laughs> okay, what are we going to do today in the stream? Guys, I don't know. We're going to do something, right? So I normally like to default to what I was doing last. And the last thing I was doing is adding some attack animations to this, to this villain that we, uh, that we conceptualized and we drew for the game Soul 3000. Maybe what, I, maybe what we could do is to walk through things, walk through some other things. Let's be a little bit lax. Just a little bit relaxed, excuse me, today. You know, so what I'm probably going to do, we're going to look at some level design stuff. And then, you know, I'll probably get in some animation. If anyone comes on in the chat and wants to, to me to react, to do a reaction to like, whether it be music videos or animation or, or anything, you know, we would do that, you know. So I, I normally like to leave my Saturdays open to interact with, you know anyone that follows me or even watch the stream so um let's see here at some point in time i would like to um to be able to go live on tiktok and i think it's possible but just i gotta work out um kind of like the little technical bugs on my side because you know i'm kind of linux based so a lot of Windows things don't come as easily, but um, man, Linux is great. Yeah, I know if you know about Linux, it's an operating system you can run on a computer, and it's completely free. So Windows, you gotta pay for it. You know, you gotta, you know, and if you want to use any of the software on there, you gotta pay for a lot of the stuff, which is good. 
you know I have Windows and I pay for a lot of software but it's also good to, to see what's out there for free because a lot of the software out there for free they collaborate with different people right so anybody who has a good idea they put it in so it's not necessarily a company where somebody has to okay it or not you know if everybody agrees that it's a good thing they put it in the software you know so Linux is like a, a piece of software that you know a bunch of people who are really smart agree that you know they could make this thing free and put really good stuff so your computer could work then you have things like blender which is a group of people who really like 3d and art and, and animation and modeling they created that software and special effects also they created that software blender and put it out there for free to allow people who wants who want to to do that stuff they could do it and they don't need to be rich or they don't need to have a set of money or they don't need to subscribe a lot of the software now you have to subscribe to it believe it or not and you got to pay them every month to, in order to use the software and that's that's cool if you're making money but if, what if you just want to do it for fun right then you can't you know then it's going to be expensive hobby right hey all right guys so you know when you make when you buy a pencil you don't have to keep paying for it basically anyways guys let's let's get into it you know hopefully i could i could do some drawing today or something let's see what's going on first of first of all i'm gonna look up level design and where am i going to look for level design let's go on this journey together let's go right now to my desktop <laughs> okay here we are on my desktop and you see the old firefox browser right here okay so what are we gonna do you're gonna go with me like how I normally would do stuff. Okay, so level design. There's a there's a, a site called World of Level Design. You know, by a guy that I subscribed to many years, many years ago. You know, probably like whew, maybe like 10 years ago I subscribed to this this guy's website. So let's look up World of Level Design. I think it's Alex something or the other. Is his name? Let's look this up. Let's start the wet or creative juices here together. Okay, so let's go world of level design. And you know, I'm not affiliated with the guy at all. Oops, uh, extra V in there. Okay, so this is the website. You know, I'm not affiliated with a guy. It's just a guy out there. And you know, if you're interested, you could get into it. But this is some of the stuff that I use to start learning about different ways to see level design and that kind of thing these are the these are the tools that are out there if you're into game development world of level design uh, I may have had this booked bookmark but I'll just double bookmark it just in case okay so this yeah this yeah since 2008 so I think I've been with him since 2008 you know just as a regular user and stuff like that so they go through about different concepts about level designs you know so there's different concepts about level designs according to the game that you're making like if you're making um, like a first-person shooter you know there's concept you when you design a level you want to think about things like choke points and you know and the player field of view and different things like that while you're designing a level Alright, so let's go, yeah, look at this guy, he's using um, Audacity, yeah, I use Audacity too, the WAV files, yeah, but he mostly, uh, I think, coming down to the, when he first started, he just did it generally in different engines, but I think now he focuses mostly on, on Unreal Engine 5, which is still cool because some of the principles he's, he's, he's teaching is universal principles. So you guys check this guy out, you know, he, he goes through different games, like, look, level design, single single player combat areas you know what i'm saying so stuff like that you know and he goes through and he talks about it let's check this one out here he's talking about alan wake i think i played alan wake a long time ago on a place on the playstation yeah right? and he's going through and he's talking about it you know there's a lot of text here let's see if we get any pictures yeah right one number one run and gun you know so it's about a run and gun play when you're doing you know like a single player first person um third person game which is kind of like what sold 3000 the game that being developed by myself is uh that 
it's a it's basically almost like this right where it's a single person you know and he's talking about running and gunning is the most common scenario where one or more enemies spawn and you can't fight them or run to avoid them same thing like what we're doing right and then gateway boss yeah so definitely i have, I have my gateway bosses and in the last video you saw it that guy with a big mace and a spindly kind of noodle ar noodle legs like an octopus or whatever it is he's a gateway boss basically you know so you got to have these uh, systems set up when you're thinking about creating like a single a third person single player game right so he's going through that right and then you talk about assault what is it? assaults but, uh, I don't know what that means. Let's see. Uh, assaults are very similar to gateway bosses. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So you get like certain strong, tough people, except the assaults. You are constrained to a specific area. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, an area where you have to battle many enemies at once, right? So you get like a dog pile of enemies where you have to survive that. Right. I call that like a dog pile, you know, because they just, they just keep throwing enemies at you. Survive and thrive, you know, talking about survival, you know, how you survive through it. VIPs, very important persons. So within the story, within the story of the game, you have very important people that, you know, you have the character interact with and talk to and that kind of thing. You know, like, like what you're saying, follow an AI in the game, like you have to follow the AI through the game, you know, so it might be a guy, person that you meet while you're playing and you have to follow them and stuff like that. A vehicle manslaughter okay this is specific to Alan Wake I don't think I have any vehicles like that in there right and I think I did get this book right I did get the pre-production blueprints and I think I have that on Amazon right, I could double check that all right I, I think I did end up buying this pre-production blueprint and it helps you to plan and organize you know, if you're doing, if you're developing a game, you know, if you're doing animation, if you like, if you like, if you like using Blender to make cartoons and animation and movies and stuff like that, that's a whole different, that's a whole different way of planning that stuff out. Okay, so this is the world of level design, you guys. Um, you guys check him out. He has tutorials on here, level design tutorials. And I've good, and you know, I think I'm I'm part of, I'm a member of his thing because I get emails from him. And uh, you know, I really, it, it's 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 really detailed about how to, you know, how to really make an engaging game. So you guys, you know, if you think I'm winging it, I'm not. You know, I'm not, I'm not winging it. This. What you see me doing on the channel takes like a lot of preparation, a lot of planning, and learning how to follow it, how to follow systems and instructions and stuff like that. You know, stuff like that. But also we have fun, right? Okay, so that's that. Let's fire a blender. Okay, here we go. Let's fire up that guy. And let's see if we can add like, at least one more animation to him. And for all of you out there who may be watching me after the fact or during or whatever it is, I just want to say one thing to you. That's that, that's me to you. I'm not Omni Man, but hey. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. So we did have a, an attack animation here with this guy. And I think it's pretty cool. Okay, what else do we have? 
Let's look at uh, we had a, a little a little short list here. Okay, so okay, so I need a, a turret attack, and the turret attack I think is with his uh is with his, his middle beam. So let's get that going. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, I gotta clear the preview range there here in Blender. So we're in Blender here. I got this bad guy happening here. Let's put his bones back on. So you can see. Right. Let's get him back into some kind of neutral position like this. And um, I'm gonna duplicate. I'm gonna make a new a new attack for him. So this will be attack number three. Attack three, and the attack three might be yeah another 120 frames. And he's pretty slow. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna turn off screencast keys. Let's see how much we could get done today, and let's see how much we could have fun today. <laughs> all right guys hey i want to salute everybody who's been watching me after the fact you know uh hey you like to scroll through and go straight to where you think is cool i'm down with that i'm trying to make every moment impactful and um as fun while i do this stuff which is pretty tall order right okay so we just made attack number three i'm gonna clean this up a bit you know this area Right now we don't really need the curve editor right now. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna make sure I'm going to control also. And apply uh, attack number three to it. Okay, so I want him to shoot lasers with his eyes with his face. So I want him to raise his hands up over his face and then look around kind of thing. So he's gonna stand like this. So this is gonna be the first set of blocking. And I believe you can like lay markers down in here, which is a pretty cool thing. So let's uh, let's go every 10 frames for the action. Every five frames for the action actually. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay. I'm going to select everything here, I'm going to insert a keyframe, kind of more or less a neutral position and uh, I'm going to try to anchor that, save it there. I'm just going to go back to make sure that the control rig actually has, see look at that control rig action, nope we don't want it like that. I don't know where control rig action comes from, we want the control rig to have this action. Okay. 
Okay, so, oh, let's go back. Let's do that in frame five. So we're going to frame five, let's do the first pose. So I'm making a key poses for what I think you should do. His hands in front of his face. Bring this hand up like that. This is like almost a cue to the player that he's going to do something crazy. Let's adjust these uh, points here. Make sure that uh, auto keying is on. I'm by no means, guys, any kind of pro um, animator. I just do what I could to get to get stuff happen, to get stuff working. That's basically what what it is I'm doing here. But of course, you know, the more you do something, the more you rig, the more you animate, the better you get. You start to learn like little tricks and tips and things that work and things that don't. Okay, let's see here. Maybe we can bring this arm down a bit so it's like more of the weapon. Yeah, so I want him to do something like that. All right, I want him to crouch a little bit when he does it. I'm gonna select all the top uh, controls. You see like, so right now I would like something like a, select, a selection set, you know? Say, so, okay, I wanna select that and then click a button and all those are selected. So you may be able to, to write a Python script that does that here in, um, in Blender, you know? But it may be, uh, is there like um, object selection sets? I'm not sure. Maybe there is. Uh, I think you could like, one easy way you could do it, you could make a um, like a collection that selects all that. But then there's also things like groups. I don't think Blender necessarily have groups, but there's a guy out there who has a plugin for groups in Blender, which is pretty interesting. You know, so you can make like a, a collection just for selecting those but it's all good guys let's just keep it simple we just we just select them just a few grab z i just want to have him do it to start up to crouch a bit when he does it right he's so tall that we always want him crouching Okay, let's control Z a little bit here guys. Let's go back a little bit. I don't think like I apply the keyframes to all of the points here. So let's get him back to neutral. Get back on here. Let's make sure everything's selected and let's pull the simple all the key points. I'm just gonna come back here and just make sure that these two things are using the same the same um, animation. You know, what if I, I could do a drawing aid for you guys? Let's see. On screen drawing. I think Linux does have an on-screen drawer. Let's look for that. Drawing on screen. Edit screenshots, that kind of thing. No, we just oh, they have a molecular diagram program. Wow, look at that. Whatever. Okay, let's just bring something up real simple. Let's look for a simple drawer. Drawer. Okay. Yeah, something called drawing here. Yeah, it's kind of like MS Paint. Okay, guys, look out! Look out! Look at this thing. This is how Blender wants to do this stuff, right? So, in Blender, right, when you do an animation, you got to create like an animation container. Let's grab that. Oops. 
yeah so this is a container so when you when you want to do the animation blender makes like a container for that animation what is that container called i don't know the animation what does it call it it's called it action and action that's what it calls it so when you do animations in blender it makes a container called an action I'm right away with my mouse guys so don't judge <laughs> and then that that one action has uh, all the keyframes and all the all your um, all the keyframes that we're laying down so inside of, inside of here has all the keyframes yeah so that's how you know so you you have to you have to give them like a name you know, name. And you can share these act you can share these these actions you know in anything that could be animated in Blender. So that's how Blender animation works. Hey I, I like this. You guys like this uh little droid up thingy right here? I can make it a little more official. Anyways, yeah. So that's the end of that. So that's what this is. This little strip right here. I have a little uh, program that allows me. This little strip right here. That's the action that I'm making, and all everything under here is the keyframes I'm putting inside of the action. Just in case, if you guys were wondering how, how animation works here in Blender, that's that's how it does it. Okay, so I just may have to make sure everything is keyframed within the same action and that these two rigs are using the same action. That's that's all I gotta keep track of right now. I'm gonna press I to put a key in and I'm gonna select the control rig by itself and just make sure it has the same action. Yep, attack three, select the, um, the main rig. Yep, so we're good to go. Let's continue. Okay, we're gonna put the arms back. arms and put this in front of him Okay, so yeah, I like that. That's that's looking pretty nice. That's looking even better than the last time. Ah, uh, guys, we didn't move ahead five frames. <laughs> let's let's do it over again. Okay, we're laying on keyframes. All right, let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. All right now we could do it. Uh, where's where's chat when I need it? Where is chat when I need chat? I need chat. Okay, this is good. All right, so this is the first pose. We're gonna select everybody and just hit I. All right, so it goes from here to here. And then, oh yeah, we want them to crouch a little bit. So we're gonna select everything. All 
And I'm gonna look up selection sets in Blender. So now he's he's, he's yeah, so now he's getting into position there. Let me select everything, hit I again. Let's go back. Right, we do, right now we don't really care about how he interpolates, we could always adjust that later. Let's go another five frames. Let's save. I'm gonna look up selection sets in Blender. Let's look up Blender Object Selection Sets. Bone selection sets, I know you have that. And that's basically what we have. It's all good. Uh, selection sets in object mode, yeah, like somebody made a plugin. Is that an add on? Somebody made an add on. Add on for that. Lifesaver, or it's free. Somebody made a video about it. Let's pause this for a minute. Switch to Chrome to protect yourself. Huh? Nope. Uh, guys, come on. Let's go. Let's go in here. So there's like some sort of uh Yeah, there's a guy of gum road. Let's see what this guy what this guy has. Ah oh, yeah, love it. I'm at I'm animator rigger technical artist. Oh look at this. Look at this guy. Look what this guy is doing in Blender. This is amazing, Captain. Blender version of selection sets, Blender add-on. SJ selection set. Oh, look at this thing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, guys? Look what somebody's doing here in Blender. And he, and you could donate to him, and he's offering it for free. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you guys, I'm bookmarking this gum road here. Uh, put it under resources, actually. Look at this thing. Show show all Blender icons. Oh, okay. Add on. That's cool. Blender version of Spring, the Blender version of Spring Magic. Wow, so he's, do, he's doing things like little dragon wings. And, wow, really? I tell you, these guys, man, there's people out there that are so talented and so. And, and, oh, it's crazy. Delete keyframes on even intervals. Okay, so you could like strip keyframes. I think there's a thing in Blender you could do that. Change the viewport display at once. Okay, so you just want to be able to shit change it. Do the different displays okay it looks like he might be either Japanese or Chinese I'm not sure what this uh what is it called it kanji stuff is uh, Photoshop tool oh wind pin SJ wind pin this selection set let's check that out this is cool see you guys exploring with me in real time how I would do things Oh, look at that, that's so cool. Right, so he's setting things up for like a scene. <clears throat> yeah, look, he's making his own selection sets just like uh, in 3D Studio Max you would. Wow, he... Really? He, he tucked it up there? This is, what's up there? Oh. How does that work? He dropped everything down from here. Wow. And options, post option. You just made select a selection set thing? That is crazy. Let's check it out, guys. I'm gonna get this. Name a fair price. Guy, I'm sorry, I don't have any money right now. Uh, let's add to cart. Let's get it. Let's get it for free for now. But hey, guys, you know, support this guy. If you got a little bit of cash, drop it on him. Okay, let's see here. Let me get this. Do I have to log into? Uh... I think I gotta log in here guys, hold on. Uh, 
yes, it's okay. We'll check that out some other time. It's pretty interesting that he has that in there. I mean, you have bone selection sets, which is what we have here. Bone groups. All right, so we got this guy in this pose. What's the next pose? I think the next pose, I think he holds this pose for a little bit. You know, and it, it kind of shakes, right? It kind of like, it's building up energy or something. Yeah, let's do it like something that looks like a shake while he's doing that. I think you like wiggle back and forth maybe, and you know, that might be a shake. Probably like this. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna select all the top ones again. Oh, let's see that wiggle again. It might be too bad by itself. Yeah, but his hands are, yeah. Select those. Let's see what that looks like with this that. Okay, just select these. Do a little wiggle back and forth with this guy here. Now rotate him this way slightly. Yeah, keep him down there. Let's rotate him the other way slightly. need to go to 15 Good copy this again Down. I just want to like a trembling. This is where like the um, what do you call it like the curve editor where you can actually draw, you should be able to draw like a um, you know like a noisy like a noisy line. But we're just doing it by hand here. It's all good. He's just trembling because he's gonna like let go a burst of energy. It's like. He's like, ah, and then you like, you know, let's go like Cyclops. Let's just play that. Yeah, that's fine. This is where the curve editor comes in. So let's see. Let's uh, we got these selected. Let's uh, go to the curve editor. Let's switch over. Let's see what it looks like. Graph. I keep seeing the curve editor. It's actually called a graph editor in Blender, guys. Okay, so you see how we have this here? Let's go select. Let's go view. I think this does have a view selected in here. Let's see. So only select the keyframes. Show cursor. Only select the keyframe handles, really. Okay, that's all. <laughs> that's all it has it in there. That's a little weird. Okay. So yeah, so you see, you start to get the squiggles right here. Still got a lot of like clutter in the way. Let's see, we got a chest bone. I 
you know and then this is this is where like an extra uh extra controller would probably come into play right here extra like thing that just controls the top but yeah hindsight is uh 2020. <laughs> So let's go like this. I just want to play it again, guys. I'm not sure about exactly how it works. Okay, so that needs to like stay there for a while and then he blasts off. So, okay, we got it, we got it. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the dope sheet. And um, I'm gonna just copy this a couple times. You got this, it goes back like that, like that, like that, like that. All right, so I'm gonna lay some keyframes down here. We got all this selected, so go ahead and just eye to lay all that down. Just lean up, lean it down to like the top part here. We got his chest, and then we got the control rig um, pieces. I'm just gonna scroll down here, and this is where the control rig stuff is. Of course, it's on the bottom, guys. <laughs> you know how we do it. Um, let's go ahead and select this. I'm gonna select this part right here like so. Let's go back up and select the top part. Let's go back. Hold on here, it's a, it's a thing going on here. Okay, we just wanna select that. Okay, we're back on track. Select this. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna skip ahead. Okay, so we did paste it. Let's go. Let's make sure we got the control rig selected. There we go. So we got that there. This technical issue end right here. Let's go back up top. So what's going on here? Okay, let's get rid of this. All right. Yeah, so he's still shaking there. Okay, uh, shake. All right, then he stops and then he blasts. this um, insert keyframes just to make sure we got everything nice and, and nice and locked off and everything like that like so Yeah, I like to select all the bones and just hit keyframes once they kind of... It's not the best, but it kind of avoids confusion a little bit. There you go. So, like, he's he's trembling because he's uh he's about to burst energy off. Yeah, so, it's a robot. Okay. And then, maybe he recoils. Maybe he recoils back and then pushes forward and then the beam flies out his eyes. Let's, let's do it like that. So, let's do the recoil. So, you stop here. Let's have him recoil back. I'm thinking out loud, guys, so... Uh... Let's 
some of them coil back. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Does he wanna Does he wanna go up and then down and out? Maybe he recoils back. Recoils up. I have to think about this for a minute, guys. I'm thinking about, you know, I'm actually thinking about him in this view. While I'm like in this view. Yeah, if he stands up really tall to do it, I think it'll be really imposing. So let's see, let's see what that tall stand is gonna look like. And I've gotta part his legs for this also. I'm probably not that tall. Let's, let's bring him down a bit. Like so like that. Right, so he's gonna recoil back. Let's let's do the arms and everything. this arm down okay I'm gonna bring this other arm down like his arms out like that a little bit. That's kind of not bad. Let's do that with the other arm. Okay, let's uh, let's have him balance himself out with these uh, with his legs. I'm so glad that we added that that this little toe uh, IK right here just to keep the, the feet kind of flattened from like ro rolling around. He kind of steps back. Let's see. Let's see the center of gravity here. Yeah, so I think he wants to step back a little bit more. Really uh, steady himself here. Let's move this forward a bit. Okay, let's bring this up to here. We're gonna we're gonna move him all the way down to. Let's grab that. kind of spread open which is great let's take a look right here we're at this level and he's doing all this and he should be like really looking down at you at this point like in my mind's eye you know I'd like it to be slightly frightening as I said I'm like really kind of looking down at you Let's look at the side view here, the silhouette. I like the silhouette of this. The silhouette is the shape on the out, on the side view and the outline shape. And I think in Blender you could actually um, switch. They have it somewhere where you could switch this and then everything would turn black. And you can actually see a silhouette. But uh, we're not gonna go there as yet. Okay, let's go in here, select that. Let's uh, space his legs out a little bit. that and kind of roll, roll the other one a bit like that I think this is you know he's steady he's, he's about to do something big so that's what we that's what we're trying to get at so he recoils back then he's gonna push forward and stay in a position for a minute while he blasts you with his uh with his head let's go here I would love to hear what kind of villains um, if you were to make a game or you were to make a comic book or an animation or even a movie like Star Wars What would your villains look like? You know, I hope they'll be a little more original than a demon with like horns or something, but um <laughs> What would your vill villains look like? Or what would your heroes look like? 
That's my question to you, Exercise Force. Okay, let's see what's going on here with the. Yeah, so it's got a. So I know this, I would run into a problem where I need a pole for this to be able to rotate the leg a certain way. And I and I was kind of like trying to like not do it guys, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, I was trying to like escape it, but we may need to add a pole in here. And what a pole is, is just to do the rotation of, of this, of these bones right here. So with that said, I'm thinking, so far so good. Let's let's grab this guy. See how he's rotating like that? Yeah, I may need a pole for because I, I think I don't think I could no longer do the I the FK on here. Let's just see. Oh I actually can, but that's this is what the pole would do though. The pole would rotate it like this. I'm just I'm gonna not put the pole in and I'm just gonna rotate it. Right? Part of least resistance. Resist the ounce. I'm trying not to put too many controls in here. Try and keep it as simple as possible. Like sometimes I see some character rigs and there's so much con it's like the controls would allow you to do anything for complex character um, animation. But it looks so intimidating, like oh my gosh, like you know by the time you tweak every little thing or you drill your way down, it's not gonna look so good. I think simpler um, lens for more dynamics. Okay, so let's see here. So this looks pretty cool. Let's uh, I'm gonna select everybody. Let's press the key like that. Let's see. Okay, so he was here. He was trembling because he was like, oh, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna blast. Why does the feet look like that all of a sudden? Let's just double check this. Let's go back. In here okay so no no he's standing right he's standing so maybe when he does this you, you know he should be more balled up right he should be balled up you know it'd be even cool enough like he was floating you know but I don't want to introduce like him being able to float in here because that's gonna tear away from it's gonna look cool but it'll tear away from the the reality of what it is we're doing because if all of a sudden he could like he could float or something like that. It's gonna look cool when he bursts out because he's in a ball, but you're gonna be like, these guys could float, <laughs> you know? Unless he has a jackpack on or something, I guess. Uh, let's uh, let's move his legs closer. Man, I should have I should have known how to. I should have done that from the from the one. Let's bring his legs a little bit closer. Yep. Uh, what happened? Okay. So. Right. Every little thing we could do to to lend to making this look more impactful once it's uh once the animation is running, that's what we're gonna try to, to achieve. I'm gonna bring his legs a little bit. Right, let's rotate the rotate that. This. All right, so that's these pole, these polar uh, bones right here. This is really like balled up, kinda. He's not completely balled up, but he's tighter. He's not wide out. All right, I just need to copy that. So let's uh, select this, select that, let's select these right here. Uh, what else? I didn't do anything with the with the toes, so I think this might be it. Okay. Okay, notice how these are I like that. Oh, there's filters in here. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, like I've been like, oh you gotta go all up in here and be able to see this there's a filter here. Why didn't I see that? Let's go in here. Show only selected. Show hidden. Show show only errors. Summary. We turn summary off. Only selected. Only show selected. Okay, so you just had to click the filter on. 
Is it is it even on? Hold on here. Show me select. Okay, there you go. It's showing everything else though. Hold on here. Let's see what's going on. Show on the errors. Summary. Show hidden. Show only errors. Oh, this is a filter right here. Show only selected. Why isn't this? I have a feeling it's like it's not working, you know? Like I got deselected. Why is it just not showing just that? Okay, we got left foot, left foot. Foot. And we got the pole bones. It's not even selecting the pole bones. Everything we want is right here. So the, the right foot control, the left foot control, the pole bone here and this other pole bone. It's all right here. I just don't understand why Blender is just not like vanishing everything else away and just showing me just this. That's that's what I think a filter would do. Show only selected. So maybe it's not select those. These are selected. Why isn't it just vanishing everything else out? Let's see, nearest, nearest frame. Yeah, this is just snapping. Let's go into view. Okay, other key merge. Show markers, that's fine. Show handles and it'll Okay, real time updates. Adjust last operation. Show seconds. Yeah, whatever. Wow, it's. Anyway, guys, it's down here. This is where the stuff is. I'm not understanding why this is not reactive in the way that I think it is. It could be the way I have it set up. Anyways, we're going to select this right here and we're going to copy it throughout. It's not a big deal. All right, once we copy it over, it's going to, it's going to um, override the keys. So let's go Control D here, over, override that one. So it should be in the same position. Yep, look at the legs still there. Yep, let's just see it happen in action here. Control D. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's watch him. And where does the legs spread apart? Right here. So it goes from right so it should go from that and it should spread apart like that yep we got it just copy here copy here copy here copy here bam let's see what's happening now yep and i think maybe you should bob up and down a little bit like he should bob up and down so it's like if he goes into this pose he's like that and he should bob up and down it's a little it's a smidgen that was weird let's come down a bit That, that's the root bone. Yep, that's the root bone. That's this right here. It goes up a bit. Let's see if we can move this uh, this, uh free handed.
All right, now he goes in. So yeah, I put a little motion in his, his ocean there. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and of course we would retime. We would retime this, right? Yeah, so that's what's going on. See, he comes on the scene. Uh, and this release. So this is a recoil. I wanted to push forward a little bit. Let's do the push forward. Let's do the push forward. So that should be a thrust forward. Grab. So I'm going to come down lower. Alright guys. Let's adjust these arms. I'm going to adjust the legs slightly. I want his arms to look like this. Okay. Okay, now he's now he's about to to let you guys, you know, to let the the, the good guys have it, right? Let's put his uh, neck forward. Let's level his head out slightly. All right, this is where he's, this is the position he's gonna he's gonna take to to unleash to unleash his wrath. So. Let's bring his leg forward a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's bring it in a bit. It's a little bit of balance there. You, know, you want things to look a little unique, you know, pose to pose. A little bit unique pose to pose, right? Yeah, I think that looks like he's really stabilizing himself right there. Okay, so I think this looks good guys. I'm going to select all and just press I to just lock in that pose with all the bones. Let's see him here. Okay, so he was like this. Then he pushed forward a little bit. He was like this. Then he's like, ah, oh, gotcha. Now we got to like fix the feet and all that later. Just see the timing on this a little bit. Right, he's gonna, he's gonna obviously just. Right, so we want to we want to duplicate this right here. So I'm gonna make sure all the bones are selected. I'm gonna roll this over here and it's gonna duplicate this to show that it kind of sticks. Then we will retime all this. Let's 
just uh, make this stick a little bit longer. The anticipation, right? That's what they call it. Right. And then right here, we'll control the, the beam. Let's leave the beam here for a minute. I'm gonna hit like the eye. Then I'm gonna roll the beam from, let's go from right. So let's, let's level this head off. Let's angle the beam down a bit. And if you want to see what the beam is going to do, we can literally stick like a, a, a temporary thing through his face here, which is probably a good idea to do anyway. Let's do that. I'm gonna leave him here for a moment. I'm gonna hit save. All right. Let's attach. Let's stick something like through his face, like here, right here. Let's uh go back in here. Let's go back in the animation a bit. Let's go back to the tippy top. Now let's put an invisible like line through here. I'm gonna bring the cursor up to here. What we could do here is go into pose mode, tell the cursor to cursor to selected. Okay. Let's go from here, cursor to selected, let's uh View. So I selected one thing, let's so grab, I'm over along the Y, the X axis, Z, really? Let's do something like that. All right, so it's kind of like we're doing like a ray or something like that. Or what they like to call like um, a recast or something, but we're just doing this for our own benefit. I'm gonna rotate it like the same angle or close to it. This is just a visual thing for us. In Blender, you could literally like grab a line from here. You don't even need to use a full, you know, like that's the cool thing about Blender. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, you know, let's collapse these things and we get a perfect, uh, get a perfect thing. So I come in here and collapse, and I'm gonna go um, center, right? Just collapse it to the center, just because I don't want the geometry to come through anyways. I just want a line. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Right, so we just get a lot of, like a single edge. Believe it or not, you could do that in Blender. That, <laughs> it blows my mind every time. Okay, so let's go here, we select that, and let's go P, parent to bone. Who's gonna parent it to the head? Because we had the head selected. All right, so now this line is gonna indicate like where he's looking and it, and his B, you know, where he shoots and all that, you know. Go right here, let's get a vertex. Grab Z, let's move it down. Let's make it a little longer. Okay, this one is a really PS true. Okay, guys, let's do this. I feel it needs to be a little longer, but I think this is fine. Let's go back into animation. Okay, so this object has some kind of action. I'm gonna get rid of that. So we, a 
forgot to turn um, auto key off. Okay, going back to pose mode. Okay, so now whenever his head moves, I think it's gonna yeah show us where. Down to here. Right. Like so. That's I think like it's tuning over set up to be oh, twice as uh, twice as long there. Like that. Then he goes and come back in the middle. Let's level it, let's level this head out. It could be a little bit organic with it guys, you don't have to be completely spot on. He's already a robot, so you kinda wanna start adding like a little bit of interest in there. Personality. See, like right there, I think it's actually be lower down. Still. But then we put an angle in there because if the guy's close enough, you know what? We could we could push it. We could push it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Man. <laughs> yeah, he needs to do all kinds of stuff with his head. His head is like the main thing, right? I don't want it too even, I want it a little bit off. So you can't quite judge. You know, you can't quite catch him. You know. yeah, there's some really smart players out there. So you gotta like raise up the level of smartness in, in almost every aspect. Especially with coding, you know, but we'll see. I'm still learning coding. top view. Let's try for that right angle. Guess right angle-ish. Let's try to level it out. Okie dokie. Let's go where he is uh, all the way to this side. And let's see if we can get that working too. Okay, look at that. You know, it's a good thing we went to the this side here. We realized that his head could uh, be a little more rotated. And uh, I'm gonna take this, level it out a bit there. Let's see here, so he goes, like, I'm gonna count how many squares away. One, two, three, four, he's in the fifth square there, five. Over here, you see all lower down this is there? Okay. This head's gotta rotate lower. There we go. Let's uh, choose. Let's choose an actual uh, point here. So I'm gonna come in the corner here. So it's gonna be one from the center. One, two, three, four squares. Kind of like so. Right, four squares. 
Let's go over here. Yep. Just middle here. Corner of the fourth square. Middle here should be the corner of the fourth square. Which is right there. Let's go to the side view here. Yep, looking pretty good, buddy. To the alternate side, same rotate around. Looking pretty good, buddy. Let's go to the front. Yeah, and the front is really angled off, right? So it's like one, two, three, two, three. Oh, okay. We could, we could raise it a little bit before this, like right here. All right. Let's bring this down a bit. Okay, this whole shift down is kind of try to get that. Let's take a look. So technically, you should be scribing a perfect circle. <laughs> Zoing. Well, perfect semicircle. duplicate the point here. And then we could uh, raise this head up so it does a sweep up. set off perfectly. Okay, so all these need like, you know, holding frames and that kind of thing for this to be really effective. And then you should get back into his regular like pose mode. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, we're gonna select everything here. We're gonna lay, lay down like so, lay down like so, lay down, oop, lay down like so, lay down like so. Just lay it down, buddy. This is how I'm stand up at this point. It should be this key, these keys right here. There we go. Let's just duplicate these keys. Let's 
give him a ample time to kind of, kind of get back into the groove here. His legs should not be sliding, so something's going on here. I thought I laid down all the keyframes, so things stick the way that they should. I'm not sure. I feel like the armature is not, um, the stuff didn't lay down on that. You know, just like all these, all these things. This is what happens sometimes, guys. You know, you gotta, sometimes that stuff happens. Okay, we got all these, yep, that's exactly what happened. None of these laid down, so we're gonna lay them down. Let's select that. Let's, whoa, whoa. Let's see if we can lay these down. Let's do this right here. Or else then lay down. Why is that? Okay, this needs to, to lay down also. Okay, better. That's a pretty cool beat right there. Uh huh, yeah. Let's go. Wow, that's proper. Nice beat. Let's stick him in this pose for a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so we gotta do things with the leg placement. You know, have the legs, have him step into position and all that sort of stuff. But before we even have him step back and forth, we're gonna like try to um, re, you know, um, what do you call it? To, we're gonna try to go in there and, and have, and um, kind of re, yeah, retime it. There you go. <laughs> I was looking for that retime word. Let's do that. Let's save this. All right, so everything's kind of chaotic, but we got the sequence of what it is we want, right? So it's all got to be retimed. Let's just be without the bones. Okay, so where, where we want is for him to, to stay shaking for a little bit more longer. longer. So let's have him stand. Okay, so he's gonna stand, hold this shaking, two, right? And then, okay, so let's time that one first. And then the last thing we're gonna do is the leg placement so he doesn't look like he's sliding all over the place. All right, so let's go back. So this is when he first does it. And this is fine because we're going from pose to pose. In the, in the game engine here and then this wall here is all the shaking all right let's turn the bones back on I just want to see the, the timing on this okay the frames the frames per, um, per second okay mm. So this is where he starts to stand up. So the, the timing is from here. The shaking is from here to here. We're gonna expand this part here in the middle. And this is where it, it ends right here. So I'm gonna grab this, everything all the way back. Like so. We're gonna make space for the shaking. I'm gonna grab an X, move this. Go up to 45 and see what that looks like. Let's just expand these before we start uh, doing anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and select all that and uh, grab X. And we're just gonna scale it. Oops, I grab scale X. I'm gonna scale the keyframes. Let's leave it up to there. Let's just take a look and see what this looks like. Gonna copy the keyframes. I'm gonna look for a kind of common. Let's do it from here to here. Let's do four at a time. Okay, I'm gonna copy these. Control C. Come here. See how much frames that is? One, two. Yeah, one, two. Place that down. that down and let's just leave that like that to see okay yeah. okay once a little bit more okay once a little bit more room so we know it's these four so we're gonna I'm gonna come back here select everything else Come back here, let's grab another four. Control C. Oh shift control shift D M E. Let's zoom in here. Let's see the spacing. One, two. Okay, that's good. We gotta move everything else back a bit.
let's go up, let's go here. Uh, okay. Uh, right, and then okay. So it's here. Let's see. Okay, so let's retime the anticipation. So this, I like this for the length of time it is. I want, I want when he does that, it kind of throws you off guard a bit. So let's see. Not that you, let's see how many, if you can count it. One, two, three, four, five. Not really, right? Okay, so that's good. Okay, so this anticipation's gotta have more to it than this. So this anticipation from here to here. So here needs some time. We need some time for here, and then we need some time for. This is the end of him shaking. See? Oh. Okay, he opens up. So when he opens up, it should freeze a bit. So this open up needs some... Okay, we actually do have some freezing for this opening up. Let's see if he's opening up too fast. Yeah, he's opening up too fast, so let's give it a little more room. I'm going to select everything else. Grab. Let's move it to the side a bit. Yeah. See. Okay. We're now getting somewhere. Oh boy! What just happened? <laughs> okay. We got it. Okay, so this uh, this part here is supposed to freeze a little bit more. So I like the smoothness of this. We need to linger on this a bit. Okay, so we may be up a little bit longer on this, but we want to get into this pose and stick on this pose, right? Okay, so that's a little bit long. So it's all good, we can just grab this guy here and move him. Let's go back. Okay, so we need to stay on this pose a little bit longer. needs more time. Let's play that. Oops.
So this is good. The push down maybe needs a little more time too. I'm gonna give it more time. Give it 80. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. I think that's good for now. So we go down and we're gonna stick here for a minute. This rotates here. Let's have this, let's have this level, let's have this level out. Yep, let's make this, make this a lot longer. want to stay in this in this thing for a minute All right. select everything this is where the you know like the animation comes in like oh um re remapping and like the motion and the timing then you can get in the, the nitty-gritty about uh, doing curves and stuff Let's make this to 300. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that's pretty quick. So let's make this uh, twice as. Let's have him take his hammer, rotate his head. So I'm gonna go, instead of three of these spaces, I'm gonna six of those spaces. So, which is really, this is like five, 10, 15. So instead of 15, we really wanted like uh, 30. 20, 25, 30, yep. Just a little smoother. Yeah, that's better. Of course, when he reaches here, he locks in. Right, so I gotta duplicate that frame. But before we do that, let's make sure I'm going to insert. Insert. Okay. Grab that. Let's move that away. Let's duplicate this. Yep. And then we have another another 30 frame to come back. Yeah, this is a long sequence. I mean, yeah, <laughs> look at this. I mean, in, if it was intelligent, you'd have to try to track the player, right? But I don't think I want to do that yet. If he, tra if he tracks the player, you know, that could be very frustrating. At least not as yet, you know, maybe later we can have him actually his head track the player and when he blasts off, like wherever you are, it just follows you. Which would probably be the coolest thing to do, but right now we're not going to do that we're just going to have a, a can we're going to have a canned animation here three two three like this it takes this time when it comes back Just spacing out these others like three, two, three. Alright, so locks in and comes back. We should lock in there again.
this is already kind of locked in. Okay. So, we almost made it to 300 with that. Let's evenly try to, let's try to space this out evenly. Grab that. Okay guys, so let's see what this looks like. We just retimed it, retimed the uh, old animation here. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. So let's press save. I think it's standing up needs the time. So we, we, we're going to 300 guys. There we go. Okay, so this is attack and it's 300 frames. So we got three attacks for him. Let's go file save. I'm gonna save a backup also. Let's just make sure everything is all good. So I'm gonna check the control rig, make sure it has the right thing in there. Yep, should be attack 300. And then I'm gonna check the, arm the armature, attack 300. And any kind of weird things in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up. Is that control rig action? I'm gonna get rid of that. Clean up everything in here. Okay, so we this is already save attack 300. All right, so we have attack one, two, and three. So one attack is really short, one attack is a little bit medium, longer, and then the other attack is really long. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna save as. Now we have animation, we should have animation back, back up. Save that, save as, and then I'm gonna go and save again. Even though Blender does its own backup and save, saving, we want to make sure that we are saved up. Okie dokie, let's take a look and let's take a look at this guy and let's have him go through his paces. Let's go ahead and hide uh, this film just like this. Alright, so we, we still need to work on the legs, I need to have him step into position. Yes, yeah, so if you're over there, you're getting it. If you're over here, you're getting it. You're getting it all. With, and on top of that, you'll be probably tracking the player position. Pushing the model. All right, so let's fix the feet, and then we should be um, we should be good to go with this guy. Let's go ahead in there. Let's jump in. So when I say fix the feet, anytime he moves or whatever it is, we're gonna try to have him step step into position. From here to here, that should be a step. Okay. Let's do the let's do the let's do this leg first. This leg is fine in this position. And probably like about halfway here, he's already there. Just like these two. Just like these legs, I guess. Okay, let's look for the leg. Might be all the way to the bottom. Right, left foot, toe bone, toe bone, and that kind of thing. So like these, just to see these. Okay. I'm gonna bring this up. This uh, let's just go 
going for. Like that, so like that. I'm gonna bring this up. This is where his feet land right here. Alright, so between here and here, he's gonna raise his foot up. It's just a frame, right? We're gonna have the other one start in here. This one, this one. I'm gonna put that there. These are really supposed to start like right here. As soon as this guy gets his foot down here, that's where these start actually. So I'm gonna grab this guy. And back over here. When this guy's sliding over, I'm supposed to step over. Alright, so we got that. Let's move on to like look for any other feet placement. Okay, so he's been again to, to, to get into this pose. Let's see what that looks like. Let's, let's try this foot first. Alright, so he's getting into this position. So we want this ha action happening first. So that'll probably be like right here. Let's duplicate that. This center point here is reaching there quick. Let's bring that guy in. Let's duplicate him and have him reach there quicker. Right. I'm gonna raise this guy's uh, feet up. Check this foot out here. We don't want this foot sliding, we want it to stay. Let's, let's do that. And notice how it's going down into the ground. It's all good. What we'll do is just raise it. It's all good. Nice, right, so it's, it's locked in. Not perfect, but it's, uh, it's pretty good so far. And then we're gonna 
this one goes go back into here we're going to raise this one and you see like where the foot kind of sinks down still that's kind of like something to do with the curves but i'm just going to manually just move it i'm not going to dive into curves I'm going to stay away from that for the time being Curves are fine, and they're pretty essential, but um, just for now. Oops. Let's see, shift his body weight. Hope you make the make the plant right there. Go to the side view. Let's really look at this. We make sure his feet are planted no matter what. Okay, see, so he, he did step into place, and that's what we want. Let's see if we can find any other stepping. So that should be all set. Oh, look, he steps right here. That's right, so the leg locks in place there. This one might be easier because you just have to make the foot go up. So I'll make the toe. I want to relax his feet a bit. See what other feet stepping he has. Look good so far. Yep, looking good so far. Looking good so far. Okay, so he has foot stepping to come up here, so he's like here. Then maybe the first foot is planted like right here already so let's use this one let's go back with this one so here we got that there so we want that to arrive first i'm gonna do a little bit of that select these two okay to bring it over here 
then between here and here, he's gonna raise his foot up. So, okay, so we should have planted like that. Oh, but we, you know, we, we got that um, thing, but we're not gonna deal with that right now. So I'm gonna come right here with this guy. This guy's not gonna move. Yeah, this guy's not gonna move until the other foot is planted. Keep him back there. Alright, and then he moves. Raise him up a bit. I'm probably going to have the two relax a little bit. So what's happening here is that this thing is here is moving, which is my fault altogether. I shouldn't have that move at all. But it's all good. Let's go back in here. Select these. Let's see if you guys keep those things. Uh, you can keep this foot anchored. Side views would be a real nice even playing going on. And anything that looks odd, I'm just gonna, gonna adjust. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay, we get back up. Okay, I think we may have it all, guys. Okay, save. Let's play. Haha, <laughs> look like he tapped his foot. <laughs> maybe it should slide forward, or maybe it's just too much of a high. Oh my gosh! Like in real time, it's like this foot is like, like he it looks like he needs to pee. Why did he do that? <laughs> Why, why did this foot raise up like that? That's weird. Get rid of that. Okay, 
Yeah, that was weird. I don't know how that keyframe ended up there. Look, well, this foot did, does it too. Yeah, that's what we <laughs> I was like, oh, he's like, oh, I gotta pee. Yeah, let's go. That's better. Okay, you gotta fix on the double tap there. Okay, there's still a little bit of a double tap in this one. Let's see what's going on there. Why does that raise up like that? That's really odd, let's get rid of that. Okay, I think we may have fixed the P problem. Let's go. I think we may have gotten it, guys. Yeah, boy, I think we got it. Let's hide this, let's hide that. Yeah, cause we need him to not like. We need him to stay like this. We don't need him to. Okay. Save that. See what we got in here.
so let's go back to that list. Right here. What do I have in the list here? So attack tree is done. <laughs> That's what we're working on, guys. That's why this stuff takes so long. It's like, you know, and I haven't even like gone in and add like secondary motions and all that sort of stuff. Like the work and time that goes into your favorite games, you know. Once you start like working on it and doing it, you really appreciate, you know. And then, you know, sometimes, you know, you're doing, uh, you could put so much time and, and balance the game out. And in the end, you got some gamers who have no clue of what it takes. They're going like, ah, that's crap. You know, and just kind of brush it off after playing playing with it for like probably two or three days, you know, because it seeks to thrill them after a while. Which, you know, which has to be built into the core story, you know. You can't blame people if they're not if they're not that inclined and they happen to be on a team to make games you know but that's a that's a thing you know i mean like um you know like they're not hiring me and they're not hiring you who could probably write a better story you know it's like they look for criteria you know and i, I don't know what the criteria is sometimes but uh the most i could do is continue putting myself out there and um, hopefully somebody will come along and they'll say hey you know uh, let's uh let's let's hire that guy Okay, so I'm thinking, back to this, this is the most efficient view, that's why I have it like that. Uh, let's go back and uh, let's make sure to turn everything else on. Bones, origins, yep. Origins or just origins. Alrighty, so that is, uh, that was fun. Kind of. <laughs> that was fun. We have a whole bunch of different animations for this guy. Let's go ahead and save a backup of a backup. So we'll go ahead, go in here, save backup. We're gonna go back again, save uh, that animation. Man, we could spend we could spend some some real time doing this stuff. Okay, so um, I was about to go in and check that selection sets thing. You know, but it truly, in, in fact, you know, the bone selection sets in here is, you know, it's pretty good. So let's see if we can set, I'm going to see if I can set up that bone selection sets here a little bit. Hopefully it's not too boring for you guys. Uh, let's go in here, I'm just going to jump in and, uh, it's a, you know, we could go to different mocaps. Look at that. Ooh, some cool shading things here in Blender. Oh my god, we could get into... Guys, we could get into all kinds of trouble and shenanigans here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, so let's. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this guy, and um, yeah, we wanna check this bone selection set. So if we come in here now, we gotta be in like an um, in pose mode. Okay, so these are selection sets for the bones. All right. So. See so if like, I want to move all the, the top stuff. I think I need this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and then we can we can move everything that's up here. Let's just test that out. Yep. So this could be a selection set. Oh, it actually has boom groups. Armature of visible this protective layers. Well, it, it's born groups and it's kinda like colored groups, right? I mean can you go in here and select? Yeah, you could go in and select everything that's in that group, I guess. But yeah. Maybe that's the way to do it, you know? I, I don't know. Uh, I have right and left, I have poles. Right, but maybe actually what you want to do is to in the ways that you want to select them. So let's uh, let's play this out. Let's play it out. Play it out. Play it out. All gone. Okay, so I'm gonna do a new one. This group here, I'm gonna give it a nifty color. What color do you like? What's your favorite color? I'm talking to you. You like blue? Let's go with blue, guys. 
blue and I assign it to those. So everything up there has that blue. And we can call this our top. Controls. Yeah, maybe that's the way, right? Top controls. So whenever we want to select, we don't have any selected. It seems like I want to select all the top controls. From here, hit select. And so we'll select it. This is the root. Um, so let's remove that. Oh, it doesn't cross. It doesn't cross into the other into the other things. Let's go back. Go back. Yeah, so that's a root right there. So I can select the root. Come here. Hold shift, select it. Yep, it works though. Stop controls. So see if I want to move his bottom here. I want to have him jump like so. I probably need to select these here too. So let's select those. These and these, just in case. You know, do, do a new group called this uh, lower controls or something. Let's give it a nifty kind of like lime green kind of thing. There you go. Uh, oh, he's green, so you can't see. Clear keyframes. There you go. Yep. There's no animations on this thing. Let's see if we just destroyed what we did. Let's turn the auto key off. I think everything should be okay. Yep. 
I don't know why that thing had animation on it. It was really odd. I know these, these, these things that I have are, are being messed up a little bit. This is a just those. This whole thing's supposed to be down. Oh man, we gotta put it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta put it back. It's like, it's all kinds of screwed up and I just don't want to have to deal with it. We know better next time. I, I wouldn't make sure that that's not animated. You can get rid of the scale, though. Don't need that. Nothing's supposed to scale in here. And even the rotation. Nothing's supposed to rotate in here. Let's go back again. Let's take a look. Let's make sure all these are squared away. Yep, it is. Alrighty, let's save this. Save the backup. Already in the backup. Okay, let's save the regular animation now. Alright. Let's check out our plugin. Let me see if I can log in here. Here we go guys. Selection set. Let's say selection set bug fix. So this is the newest one I'm guessing. Let's download it. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. We get to see how this is, how this works out. So let's copy. I'm gonna let's go, let's go cut. Let's, I'm gonna put this in like where I have like my blender stuff. Let's see if we can install it in here.
Okay, this is pretty exciting. We get to see what this plugin does. SJT. SJ. Open side of panel. This is where his plugin is right here. Selection set. Wow! That is cool. So yeah, selection sets just like selection set is empty. Let's see. I don't know if it'll do a. Uh, I don't know if it'll do armor armature stuff. I think it's more like object selection sets, right? Oh yeah, look at disappears. So it's definitely for object selection sets. Yup, that's what it is. Hey, eat away. That's cool. Let's make a new blender scene and let's uh let's see what we could do here. A new general. Oh sure, yeah, I'll save. Okie dokie, let's check it out. So let's make a do some cubes. A matter of fact, let's open a, a level in Blender. We got characters and let's open to uh, Open a level that we haven't seen before. Let's go to level 4.5. Wow, why do I need it, guys? That's pretty interesting. Let's see what that is. Oh, This should just be level 4, not 4.5. Selection sets. I think it's pretty grouped up in here. Man, I can't wait to get into the Alright, 
to the dust selection set. Oh look at this, it's actually showing it up here. So I come here and click young. Oh why doesn't Blender have this now? <laughs> if we could just totally select that. And it has it like this is yeah. So guys support that guy in his uh gum road. You know, give Trim a few bucks, you know, for his, like, really, this is a really cool uh, thing. Really cool that he remembers the selection stuff like that. Wow. Believe it or not, stuff like this, like, when you get, like, functionality like Max has or even Meyer, it goes a long way. And Blender kind of has something like Polygon selection sets. So, let's see, if you select that rock, with your tab, let's see, like, we just... I just want a certain, certain amount of polygon selected. Okay. <laughs> vertex. Right, so they have vertex groups, right? That's kind of that's kind of what it is. The vertex groups. You can like go in here and click that, sign that. So if you want to do a sub object, you have to go with vertex groups. One for that. Sign for that. Let's try a different one over here. And we um, can add that another one. That was just two. Sign. Right. So now, if you just want to select one, you can go here, select one. You hit select. Yeah. Look, I totally did it. Select one. Or you can deselect it. Two now, and you can select and select back to. Yeah, look at that. They have, yeah, so that works. The sub object, you're gonna have to use the vertex. I don't know why that was taken. That was like, I don't know why that was moving so slow, but it's all good. Yeah, this space, I think I have a con concept, concept for this, but we could, I think this needs to be conceptualized a lot more, a lot better. Yeah, I feel like there's a whole thing going on in here. Structured out, yeah. So all this has got to be conceptualized even better than what it is. It's doing pretty good though. Got a lot. I I got like another year's worth of work, guys. <laughs> Trying not to despair, but yeah. Let's go through here. So rocks, breelings, metal floors. I actually have to go through all these uh, things and just kind of reorganize them and that kind of thing. Let's go back to this list here. 
<laughs> I'm gonna uh, okay. I gotta do this. Make vibes. Make vibes. <laughs> so I have a follow called Vibes, and you know it's pretty cool. You know, uh, Vibes makes games. I'm gonna make a little uh, sound alert for him. That's something I, I probably would do off air. I'll make a little sound alert for him when he comes in and I can think he could press it. And for any of you that's watching out there, you know, um, if you're a regular, I'm going to try to do that. So, sound alert for uh, vibes. And chat regulars. So if you're regularly in chat, I'm gonna try to make a sound alert for you. Yeah. Hopes and dreams, huh, guys? Let's see here. So, animated boss. Okay, so I would like to get back into more um, modeling and texturing and that kind of thing. So, that's something that I'm gonna plan out for the, hopefully the next stream. This stream was just me coming on a Saturday and just trying to see. You. If anyone out there wants uh, to hang out and stuff a little bit. So let's break away from Blender here. I'm going to segue into... I'm going to try to relax a little bit. I'm going to play a game and then we're going to call that a stream or something. Let's check out some music for a minute. Let's keep it a little more constructive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, for a minute. As, I mean, all of us got stuff to do today, right? Including your green bear right here. So, but uh, let's see if we can splash up uh, some interest in here. Let's go to LMMS. Check out some music. Okay, guys. Here we are in LMMS. Um, let's see. I think I started a beat. Let's see what we got. Maybe we have to start from uh, make something different. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is, I think this is all, uh, oh, this is all rock. Uh, let's go back into here. Songwave. Oh, I made something called This Little Light. Yeah, I remember this. I wonder if I could um, work on it some more. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is a light, iridium, hectic. What is this one? Hectic? What is this? Okay. Let's start from... Let's, let's make a beat. A straight up hip-hop. Uh, relax, chill, cozy. Whatever, whatever. Let's do that. I'm going to start from the Raw Basics. Actually, Raw Basics is a dance group. I remember growing up uh, checking out <laughs> okay let's just try this let's go so let's get in let's get in here and let's get this popping so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start just making like simple patterns and stuff and let's let's make a beat just to stay uh, positive um, is it a little more constructive to do something like this than play a game I think so maybe uh, let's get in there and um, Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get some drums. You cannot make a rap beat without proper drums. So these are the so this kicker is not bad. Alright. First of all, let's put the tempo down to 90. I think that's a standard hip hop beat BPM. You could look that up. I think BPM's all over the place now. Yeah, like they're up to like 80 and 150 yeah so either way yeah uh down tempo is like 90 to one yeah so that's what 110 that's what i use okay so let's go ahead and uh let's see this what 
Okay, I should have been recording that. <laughs> let's, let's get in there and do it. Let's go. Okay, these two keys right here. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's, let's hit a metronome. Try it, let's try it, let's go. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got there. Yeah. Oh, look at that pattern. Let's see if we can clean up this pattern, make it into something. Select everything and let's just bring us up to the first. Uh, let's just put this up a little bit higher. I think the. Yeah. Okay, we got it. I gotta clean this up, so let's see how we could do that real quick. So it's skip every two, one. Huh, interesting. So the hits actually, so let's go, this hit actually happens here. So you skip like that, then that, that, then that, that. That is really erratic. Let's hear, let's hear this. Oh, not bad. Okay, that's where it's going. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Is this repeating here? That's the thing. We need to get back on beat with this. Right there. Okay, let's do that. You see, it, it gets it gets odd right here because this is just popping up in the middle of uh, of everything. Let's try it now. <laughs> mm, let's do that. Mm mm. Mm. What do we have here? sure about this let's get rid of that you see what this does okay see what that does there oh uh, it needs something Okay, might have something there. Go on. Let's try this right here. This little brain, re this little brain relaxation, guys. This is all relax my brain. Let's go in here. Oh, might have something. Let's hear it.
Oh, and then we have the last piece right here. Let's see, let's see if this works. I'm just leaving it like that. Oh, but this guy is kind of off, so let's bring him back. And yeah, let's see what this works. Okay, so this part, last part needs work. Let's see if we can mimic back um, like this sequence right there. See that? Three, four, four. Huh, I don't know. Let's see here. Probably halfway. That's what's. That's what's. Needs to be a little more in sync. Okay, I think. I think that sounds like something. Let's take that and let's try to make a whole beat out of that. First of all, let's get a keyboard to to back this up. Copy all that. Okay, we know it's 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 steady on the metronome. Let's do that. Huh. Interest interesting. Let's go four for these. Let's bring this down. So this is where you construct the song right here. That's what I'm doing. So this blocks, that's the song. We just this is the instrument and this is a piano roll where if you double click on that you get you know you get to lay down the notes. So that's what you're seeing. And this part here is the mixing board where you can get to put all the and you can get to balance out the how high or low songs are. That's why it's called mixer right here. And this here is the instrument, which is kicker. That's this right here. That's what this is. And this is a piano for it too. Okay. All right. So we got a bass thing there. Let's look for a, let's look for a nice synth because I could like we could make like the the beat of it. I want to get the synths down because uh, that could be lacking so wherever it lacks I like to like really put focus on so let's <laughs> let's get let's get in there let's see if we can get some um, fancy synth synthesizers keyboards oh at this point in time I mean a piano works right a piano with hip-hop That's interesting. Let's check that out. I don't know if it'll work, but let's check it. Uh, let's make a new space for it. I'm gonna click that. So it's a, this this by itself, and we could uh oh let's uh, copy let's copy this copy and let's paste that right in here. Uh, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's try a different one. Oh snap, that's hot. Oh you 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 heard it here first. We're gonna we're gonna kill this beat. Exercise force, let's go. Okay, ex Nikki. <laughs> Let's go. Let's keep it going.
this goes out to all to all viewers and lurkers of XSI Nick Show. Okay, we got that, that. I'm just gonna cover up all the spaces in here with the synth. So we're gonna go here, here, anything that has a space, because, uh, you, Although I think this one doesn't have much uh, linger to it, but we could, we could, we could change the instrument a little bit. We could, uh, uh you know, we could adjust the, the way it sounds. Okay, so we got that, 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 that. Alrighty, so let's hear it. Okay, there's some linger. Let's see what we got here. This is the instrument uh, settings. So I'm gonna go in here and listen for the difference. Oh, snap! Are you kidding me? We're gonna leave this in there right there like that. Oh my, are you kidding me? Uh, uh, uh. Alright, alright, all right. I'm getting too excited. Let's leave that like that. Okay, you know what? Let's make two of these. This is one. And let's duplicate it. Clone this track. And let's change this one slightly. Need like a like a synth below all of this, but let's start. Let's actually build a beat. I'm gonna add this to this. It's following the bass a little too much, but we're gonna add like a hip hop beat to it. Okay. Let's turn off the metronome for a minute. So what's, what's going on here is that we can't hear the, the bass line. Let's play the bass line. Right, so this needs to be subdued. This, uh, this is another form of bass. Right, we're gonna subdue this. Let's go 10 on that. Let's go 10 on this. Okay, not bad. Let's let, let one fill up one ear or the, the other. Let's go 80 in this on the left. That's the, that's the right. And let's go 80 minus 80 on the, on the left. There you go. So they occupy different spaces. Okay, we gotta like drop this down to the mixer so we could control like the height. Let's uh, do that so we can keep it rotating. So I'm just, I just put like a loop right there. So I'm gonna add the instruments to the mixing board. So I'm gonna go to the kicker here. Let's add like one and then two. So let's come in here, let's add this kick bass to one. And let's add these uh, fuzzy basses to two. So we come here, add it to two. All right, so. You got them in the ones and twos, let's listen to it again. Let's play both of them together. I'm looking at the, the levels right here, so that bass is higher. So I'm gonna bring these up a little bit. Go 20 in that. 20 in that. Let's see if we can make a hip hop, a hip hop, uh, Kind of a hip hop beat with drums. Let's do that. Okay, so on two we're gonna add the drum, the drums for it. Okay, so come in here. Let's see. Um, we're just gonna add these instruments in, right? So I like that one. Add that in drum. Might add a crashing, but it's too comical right now. Gonna add some serious heights. Okay, add that in. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's a wood clave. Clap. The claps could come in. I think it needs claps, but we could add that in later. Height. Oh, snap! <laughs> it's vibes. It vibes. You scared of, you scared of Jesus out of me? Oh, man. I mean, you scared the living daylights out of me. Here comes the vibes. Here comes the vibes. It's a word to the wise. How's it going? Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, this kick is this kick is pretty stiff. Let's add that in there. Hey, vibes, we're making we're making a, a beat to relax. I like this soft kick. Let's add that in again. Okay, we gotta get into some hip hop y things. I think this might this might cut through some fluff, so we can add that in there. Let's add some snares. Your snares gotta be right, else you know everything is screwed up. That snare is nice. <laughs> Beat to be. To know how to be <laughs> going good as a beep, stay, stay be coolest. <laughs> okay, yeah. You know to be going to be going on a beep, <laughs> stay beep. Okay, if you say so, if you say so, vibes. I'll I'll take your you take your word for it. I like that. Let's put that in a little rim shot there. Beat to the B to know how to be going in a beep, stay be coolest. Ah, that sounds like a rap. Hey. Maybe uh maybe you could write a rap for the for the beat we're coming up with here. <laughs> oh, did I add that in? Uh, I don't know about that. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Nasty. <laughs> yeah yeah. Okay, let's see if we can make a, a nice drum pattern right here, guys. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's try this. Oh snap. Okay, we need that snare right up there. I think just bring the snares right up. We got this working. We got a soft kick working. The ride and the hi hats are like all heights, right? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Going to B to the drop. To B drop. We got vibes in the house, yo. Going to B to the B drop. <laughs> okay, let's make a copy of this. I think this works like that. Nope, we gotta do another one. Let's put it in. Okay, so this could be a, this is the moment of truth to see if we have a mess or see if we have a gold. 
Let's see if we have a mess of gold. Let's go. Oh, snap. We got gold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, where's Drake when you need him? Come on. Drake, you gotta clap to this. <laughs> I did it with your help, Exercise Force. Everyone that's out there. Vibes. Yeah, vibes helped me out. Vibes came in and brought, brought the vibes. Okay, let's get let's get some uh, high hats happening. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna play around with the high hats. See what this ride does. I just want to hear it. Oh, community challenge 95% complete. You guys see that? Wow, we got a lot of raise. Vibes just made another donation to Usna. Vibes, you just made another donation so that we can learn animation together as a community. Thank you, sir. Wow, this is awesome. You know what? We might name this beat Vibes makes games. That's what we might name this, this beat. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this here like this and then I'm gonna duplicate it and then here I'm gonna let's see if we can get a hectic. Let's see if we can hectic make it. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, this is Vibes Makes Games. That's, that's what we're going to name this beat. We gotta splash it. We got. We gotta. We gotta get in there. All right, Nick. Do you, don't fail. Don't fail me now, old brain. Let's go. Yeah. What if I do that? Okay, let's go like that. Try this. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> What's that box? Okay, you're gonna lurk. Yeah, it's all good. I will lurk and donate again. Next five percent. Oh, five percent left. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And sure, gonna go up to someone in the high school and tell them that. The, <laughs> tell them the vibe, and you are my type of a vibe. Hey, thanks. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, for sure. Tell them that you're the vibe, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, keep lurking, buddy. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna let's start. Let's start this off right. Let's try this and try to build the beat, guys. Let's go. Yeah, no problem. Thanks a lot, bud. Always glad to motivate, you know, a fellow creator like yourself.
hi-hats in a different one. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the, uh, the levels over here. In case of X, X Nikki is blocking it, I'll show you guys. Let me pull this off for a minute. Right here. Start that over. Yep. I think this kicker needs adjustment. Kind of working on these different pieces right here, guys.
just adjusting these things. Okay, that was fun. I wonder if we could come up with a different a different pattern for this. Let's come up with a different drum pattern. Spot could be a mess, but let's go. I didn't listen to any of it. Not bad. Let's 
Almost done fiddling around with his stuff. I'm 
the last touches here. Okay, I think this might this might work. It's so crazy. It just might work. Yeah, let's just stick that to come back in with the with the song, and then that's the end of that. Pretty basic, but it's uh it's fun. Uh, let's see if we can get like another synth for this thing. Something. Go in here, save. Let me hear this. This is what it should be anyway. You know, it should have a progression to all this. Okay, let's mess this up and we'll do that to the other one. have a little drop to it, okay? Yeah, let's try to change up the way the sounds a little bit. That's better.
Okay. Let's see if we get a different instrument. We need a bell in there somehow. I'm just gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna adjust the other one. I'm gonna leave this one straight. And I could go the other way with this one. Let's try it. We need to get like a smooth scent. It looks like all these changed. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I was like, where's the rest of the stuff? Okay, here we go, see? So we got some some extra stuff here. I'm gonna add another bank in here. Let's try something with this one here. First, let's see what we got in terms of how it sounds.
pretty nifty, I like that. Sound like a hip hop beat, but hey, it's a it's a beat on nonetheless. 
We're having fun.
Just playing, having fun. Let's have some fun congress, conga drums in here. This one in Hardest Will Song.
going to try to fix the synth a little bit. Playing around with the synths, let's see how the sounds like.
I think that's good enough. <laughs> okay, so check this out. So let me just uh, just do a, a little bit thing there, and then uh, yeah, and then that's uh, then that's the end. That's that's that beat right there. Could do a whole lot more to it, but it, it is what it is, you know. So let's let's do the last little bit on this, and um, we could probably segue to doing something else. Got any ideas out there? Anyone? Let's go. Let's fin let's finish this up.
that's it. <laughs> that's the beat. <laughs> hey, it's fun. It was fun. Let's uh, let's save this. Let's go listen to it one more time here in totality. Looking at the levels. Okay, that's it there guys. Uh, I've hypnotized you enough with the, with the sound. Let's, uh, let's save this as uh, huh. let's, let's export this as a wave. Oh, what did I do there? Uh, let's open uh, Vibes Makes Games. Let's see, save, let's export. Lovely. You know what? Let's uh, let's export it as an MP3. All right. I want uh, very slow. I want to uh, do these right here. I think all this is pretty standard. Let's go ahead. Okay, we gotta play the we gotta play it on a standard player here. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay, we got in there. LMMS projects. Okay, here it is. Oh, vibes makes games. This is this is what it's gonna sound like. guys i'm gonna take a quick little break we're gonna come back and i think i'll actually uh i'll actually play a game you know so like we've been i've been going through these things and all these kind of things to relax my head you know to be productive you know producing stuff right we like to create stuff 
right? Little C vibes as he's doing his game right now. We like to, you know, we like to to keep our minds sharp and keep our artistic skills up, you know, going and that kind of thing. So let's get back into into some of that. I'm just gonna take a quick little break and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna open up the chat. So uh, I'm gonna open up the chat screen. So whoever wants to jump in, wants to chat, you know, you could totally do it. No big deals. Let's go. We'll be right back. How interesting. Just look at that.
Street Fighter guys, let's go! I don't know, this this beat always makes me feel like to play Street Fighter. Let's take it from the top. Let's go! And if you want to play against me, you can easily do so. Just type Exercise Nick and Steam and you'll see my name pop up and what you could do, you could uh, send me a friend request and we could play together any game on Steam if you got Steam Steam is, if you got a PC, Steam is where you play PC games and we could play Street Fighter together and challenge me, we could, we could play each other online Let's see if there's any lobbies here. Oh, probably not. Let's just go ahead. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Just need motivation. Keep it going guys.
fundamentals. Nothing like the kind of music to motivate you, huh? Oh no! What? The music couldn't save me. What? Sean Lee came out to... What? No! Ah, I got saved by the bell. New challenger, let's go. Uh oh, I picked the wrong person. Ah, boy. Let's see. Let's see if I, my Alex is good. Yeah, my Alex is not that good. Let's go. I picked the wrong person, guys. Yeah, my Alex is not that good. Okay, let's, let's, let's pick the right person. Let's go. What?
Ah, it's all about timing. You caught me off guard. Let's go. Prepare to strike now. Try one more time. Let's see if we can stop the Chun Li. What is it later? Is impeccable. What? Let's go. Are you ready? Go. Wow, this guy's pretty good. Oh my gosh, Rusty. Execution. Ha! <laughs> 
Okay, after this one, that's it, guys. Prepare to strike now. See now, I need a proper arcade stick or something because like, check this out, right? If I go to dash forward one two, it, it doesn't it doesn't work. It, it works slightly. What? I took that. This thing like I'm blocking. It's not really blocking. I'm dashing forward. It's not. Really, I just need a proper arcade stick. Yes, this game control I have doesn't really work. So yeah, that's my excuse. All right, guys. So before we, I'm gonna close out, not on this game. We're gonna close out, jumping into 3D code and do some sculpting, and that's what we're gonna do. What are we gonna sculpt? We could do like a little test sculpt. Let's let's try to do some testing of anatomy and that kind of thing. Um, it's, if anyone is out there um, in chat or is watching me, and what? A uh, character would you like to see me sculpt? You know, that's that's the question right now What character would you like to see me sculpt? We could take like a particular Character or drawing or an image and let's try to like do You're not gonna like sculpt it out fully, but let's um Let's use it to kind of explore sculpting together also. So the animation challenge you know, we got a lot raised in it. Um, the community, the community challenge of um, learning animation in Blender. You know, um, between vibes and mystical. You know, we raised uh, you know a lot of like they use their their viewing points to to allow so that we could um, so that we could do learning animation in Blender. It's still going. Um, so if you have viewing points, please you know chip in. And add it to that. Um, what does the viewing points, you know, what does the exercise viewing points do for me? Um, it just shows me your interest. That's what it does. So let's look on here. Let's look up, um, like, you know, some sort of, we could start with like faces or we could start with this full anatomy. I like doing the full thing, but we could, we could do faces, right? We could try it. We could try for that. But um, I like trying my hand at sculpting and that kind of thing. So just so that you know, if you've been looking at my desktop, I have so many different programs on here. And there's programs that are hidden that you guys don't see. One of the, pro the programs is the program that I named myself after, Softimage XSI. So I've been trying, so it doesn't really exist anymore because it's discontinued, but there's one version of it that exists out there that you could get called the XSI Mod Tool. I've been trying to get the XSI mod tool to fire up so that I could show you guys what this thing looks like. It looks kind of like Blender. So let's go into Blender real quick. And I'll show you guys. So this is Blender, right? And in Blender, you could choose different themes that Blender could look like. And I'll show you guys something. So if you go in here, in the themes, right? You look for themes. And if you look at the presets right here in Blender, you go down there and look at this. XSI right there to the bottom. Wow, isn't Blender so cool that the developers know that um, X Soft Image XSI no longer exists and they actually added the XSI um, theme so that people who use it, who used to use Soft Image XSI could get in here and, and um, they could make Blender look like Soft Image a little bit. So check this out. If you press that, bam, look how, look how Blender looks now. It looks kind of like Soft Image XSI. I have the actual mod tool here, which which is which is basically the, f the full program minus the mental ray renderer. I've been trying to get it to, to run right now on Linux, and Linux is kind of a little iffy on it. So let's, let's I'm going to double click and see if we can get the mod tool to run. Okay, so it's, it's undoing, it's doing here, and you guys will get to see it. So where do you get the soft image mod tool? Well, it's on it's on um, I think it's like free grounds or new grounds um, gaming site. You know, it's a it's a site where people used to go to do game development, 
and uh, modding, mostly modding. So it's called the exercise mod tool because you could use this tool to do mods for games. And people still use it. It runs on Linux, it runs on Windows perfectly. <clears throat> I think I had it running on Linux one time, you know, in the past. And all I'm missing is maybe some libraries here and there and that kind of thing. So yeah, so uh, right now I'm just, anytime I run it, it's kind of sticking right here. Normally it runs all the way through and it installs it. And when I try to launch it, it um it complains about not having certain things or something like that. But um but right now it's it's kind of sticking right there. And I think I just need to go through, clean everything up and come back and hit it hit it properly again. But anyways, so that's if you look at my desktop and you see that, you know, it's all about Softer March XSI. That's why my name is XSI Nick. I used to use Softer March. There you go. Okay, so let's close this. Uh, if we could, <laughs> there you go for squid that. All right, so this is Blender looking like softer Marge right now. Very cool. The downside of this this one is is that uh, for me, you know, even though it looks like a little bit like softer Marge and reminds me of back in the day using it, it's still kind of not like softer Marge in some ways. And um, you know, some some of the stuff here needs, but probably the team needs a little more working on. But hey, you know, at least they have it in here. And I know a couple actual developers of Blender plugins actually use this uh, theme. Anyways, let's get into the sculpt to, to checking out some sculpting stuff. Um, let's let's start with Blender. We're in Blender already. Let's go over here. Let's I'm gonna change the theme back so I could actually see what I'm doing. Let's go back here, let's change the theme. Uh, from XSI to Let's go uh, Blender, I think it was Blender Light or something, not light, it was like dark or minimal or something. Let's go dark. This feels wrong. <laughs> uh, let's go here. Minimal dark, uh, deep gray. I think that's what I had. Yeah, there we go. That's a little nicer. Alrighty. Okay, so we're in a sculpting um, thing here in Blender. Let's start with a, let's start with a, with a nice little... Uh, sphere right here there we go you can put symmetry on this so hey blender I want to do some symmetrical sculpting all right so one thing you know, Blender sculpting is pretty nice, you know, it's kind of like what you would expect to get from ZBrush to a certain point and that kind of thing. But, you know, 3D Coat is, 3D Coat is, is, is better if you could get 3D Coat guys. All right, so let's just go through here. Let's just look at some of these, uh, these little brushes here. We have the draw brush, you could draw that. When you're sculpting, that's how you want to start. Let's see what the snake tool does in here. Snake hook tool. Zoom out. All right, it doesn't really do much because we need to um, have this dynamically subdivide as we do things. So to do that, you come up here to the top, hit that. All right, that's where your dino, dino topo dynamically. You know, so now when you pull stuff, now stuff grows and that kind of thing. Yeah, so we could do stuff in Blender, but uh, you know, and I got a ton of madcaps here that you know you could view stuff in any way, which is fun. But uh, it's a little boring, so let's leave this out for now. Let's go into 3D Code, where where we have where we can have a lot of more. It's a lot more freeform, guys. It's a lot more fun. So we're gonna go in 3D Code. Let's launch that. Run in terminal. Right, so what I want to do, what I wanted to, to get, the reason why I wanted to treat the code is because I want to develop a, a um, how do you develop like a mode of, of working, right? Like a workflow where I do like, like sketching in 3D, right? Granted, you could kind of do that in Blender. I'm not dissing Blender, it's just uh, for now, you know, I, I want to really get, you know, 3D code under my belt here. 
Okay, so if you look at something here, we got our, we got some presets. This is so cool. This is the presets that we have from the last time. Let's come back up in here. Okay, so in 3D code, we have like this stuff to the side. Um, we have the clay engine, we have the voxel tools, which is kind of cool. Look, look at this 2D paint right there. You could use these things to, let's look for a tool that could truly allow us to sketch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mirror my uh, thing here onto my, my, um, onto my tablet. Let's just mirror that real quick. Okay, bring 3D code back here. There we go. Okay, guys. All right, so I just want to be able to use my pen there a little bit because I want to get some kind of sketching. So we, I'm going to explore each tool. Hold on here. I think like this music is... Is the music loud for you guys? Let me know. If the music ever sounds too loud, just come in here and say, Hey, X, X Nick, uh, I can't hear you because the music is too loud. Or if it's too soft, you know, if it's not entertaining. Anyways, let's get into, let's get into this right now. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, this feels a whole lot better with a with a pen. I mean, I could draw with a mouse, and if all you have is a mouse to do sculpting and thing, all that's okay. It still works the same way. Okay, let's see if we can get into some sculpting here. I'm just gonna shift stuff around here in the real world. Okay, dokie. Let's look here. <clears throat> so we're looking for like a, I'm looking for a brush where I could just start sketching like immediately in the, in the viewport and that kind of thing. This viewport you can rotate like this. Oh, wait a minute, hold on here. Let's turn that on, yeah, so we can see. Right. So, okay, let's check this clay brush. We're looking for any brush that could sketch in here for now. That's what we're doing, right? So all these tools I have on the side here is tools that are like for default sculpting. Let's go here, sculpt. How do we add, how do you add another group? Let's come in here. What to store, store sculpt, clear, add preset, save preset, low preset, show all presets, uh, view all text, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna add a new folder and call this a uh, sketch. There we go, we got default, we got sketch. Can I rename this one? I don't know. But it'll allow me to rename this folder. I don't think so, I think it just stays like that. Oh, come on, get out of here. Yeah, everything's on the sculpt. I don't know if it could add like, anyways. Enough, enough rambling there, yeah. So like, um, let's look for a tool that could sketch here in 3D code. Cause we got all our tools once we once we put our base mesh. We got all our presets here for sculpting things and making things look detailed. But let's start, let's get something to sketch with. So I have the base clay brush, it does nothing. So let's go, let's go down the line. The wet clay brush, that does nothing. Same thing, Vox Pinch is not gonna do anything. Um, usual clay. Yep, that does nothing. Let's go down here. Our Vox flatten does. Yeah, that does nothing. Soft clay, nothing. Thick layer, nothing. Vox extrude, nothing there. Build skin. Yeah, so I don't think these will do anything. I think where we're going to start to see stuff is down here in the Vox tools. So let's say Vox clay. Can't do anything there. The grow tool does nothing there. We're, going, we're moving down the line, guys. Build does nothing, I, I'm sure of it. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Smooth, fill, carve is... Oh, carve, carve does nothing on its own. Blob, let's take blob. So there you go, look, blob is starting to do something. So this is like where maybe our sketch could start happening. Look at that, blob makes, blob makes something, guys. So I'm gonna back out of here Hit blob. Let's uh, select a brush and see what happens here. So it does nothing with a brush. 
No, where's Blob? Okay, we got Blob here. Oh, okay, so Blob, you can't, you can't have a brush or Blob. You gotta have one of these things right here, right? So I think I did have this tool. Right? Remember when when I did like this and it made it made a a thing and it wasn't really that good. I think that's happening because we don't have enough resolution. So let's add more resolution to the to this layer right here. And you can. I'm gonna add four. Okay, so we have 16 resolution. Let's see if Blob does does better now. It's definitely taking longer. Maybe I shouldn't have gone straight to 16. Maybe we should have inched our way up there. Oh yeah, I'm thinking so. <laughs> it's taking a while to even show up. And who knows how, how huge this is. Oh, there you go. The blob did something, right? So yeah, this was too much. I'm going to drop it back down. My bad, guys. Let's dump this for a minute. So we're looking for sketch tools and 3D code. So, so far blob is, is, is a thing. Oh boy. This is my mistake guys. I went all the way up to 16, 16 times resolution, which is like, how, mu how much this is? This is like, right now we have like 107 million tries, triangles in the viewport. So that was my bad guys. Um, I'm not gonna wait for this to wake up. Oh, did it wake up? Yeah, I'm not gonna wait for it. Let's just close it and we're just gonna start back from where we left off. My bad. Okay, let's launch 3D code again. Okay, it's launching. Okay. Okay, let's go back to voxel sculpting. Okay, right, here we go. So we know Blob, we are in Sketch. So we know Blob does something. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, let's go back to Blob. Let's add, let's add a little, maybe it was too much. Yeah, there you go, look at that. See that? add resolution this one time the 2x we're not going to add 16x <laughs> it was too much yeah 2x you know does good for sketching right you just just want to be able to sketch in this thing so i think blob is a good tool to start with you know, i mean how are we going to sketch with this let's see what blob actually does so if i come here and i look down this way would it would it do it that way yeah it does so whichever way you have you're looking at it's going to do that Okay, border, rounded border, plain border, sharp border. Let's try plain border. Let's see what this looks like. So you gotta get familiar with your tools, guys. And you know, if like you have a blender, you break out, um, you go in blender and you play with each uh, thing in the sculpting before you jump in there. You know, so this is like, um, you know, I learned this stuff when um, like, to approach things that way when you know working at, at um, the place I worked at right was an architectural engineering firm and you know those those engineers and the people that hired most of those guys were engineers right and there were some business people there too but they like to know that you know you're using your time as wisely as possible and when I was when I was working there you know um, if I wasn't actually working on a project, I know sometimes in a job you have downtime. I would spend time learning the tools that I had even better. I would go actually break out the documentation. See like 3D code, I will come up here where it says help and I'll look for 3D code manual and I would like look at different parts. Cause sometimes there's stuff in software that you might know that's in here, you know? And uh, yeah, look at that. So whatever we have, whatever, how are we reviewing it? 
I still think this is pretty low. I don't know why it's so low like this. I think it's to do with scale and different things like that. Like, you know. So let's see here. If we, if we add more resolution. So that's 2x. This is 4x. Let's see what 4x does. All right, so wherever we, wherever you're looking at, it's gonna draw. It's gonna make the blob in that in that particular plane. So if you're looking down, it's gonna be a flat kind of flat blob. Oh, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? And the depth is 50. What if we put the depth all the way up to 100? What does that do? That's you're testing out this tool. Are we looking for tools that we could sketch with, right? It may be making that, you know what You know what I'm thinking now? It may be making these kind of patterns if you're not actually looking straight on at whatever it is you're doing. So if like, let's see. If like we look straight on like this and we just make like a... Or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> let's see here, let's look at the layer here. What does it say? It say increase, decrease object increase density let's do that yeah so it actually raised the the thing to 8x so it was 4x now this is 8x oh yes yeah, that's, that's clean yep that's that's definitely clean if we zoom out you're gonna make a even i, I think it's gonna be even better because the pixel density is gonna be greater or the voxel density. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. So you yeah, at least want to do 8x for sketching, I'm, I'm thinking. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. 8x sketching. This is how you learn. It's all, um, the thing about 3D code, it's all to do with this layer on the side here and how much resolution it has. That's the, the that's the thing. If there was a general resolution slider in 3D code, then that would have been great too. Or starting resolution. You know, like something like that idea, like I have an idea, like why doesn't 3D, 3D code has a starting res resolution? I could go in their, um, in their website and look that up, you know, and see if, see if they have anything like that at all. Okay, where's all my... Uh, I thought I had a bunch of like um, things saved in here. Uh, maybe not, you know, who knows. Okay, so let's, so we like the blob tool. That's not bad. I'm gonna save it here on the sketch. So let's go, I'm gonna go here. And um, where's the presets? Okay, it says save presets. Oh, not save presets. Sorry, like add, add, add preset. Yeah, there you go, blob. So that's our first sketch tool. Let's look for another tool that where we could sketch spheres. Can you can you sketch from nothing with spheres? With spheres, another. I don't know. Let's see if we can get a. Yeah, you could use a brush with spheres. That's what you want. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger. So we just want us to be able to sketch from nothing. A lot of these other tools depend on another another um, piece of mesh, a piece of uh, geometry to be there for it to work. You see, like like spheres, spheres. Let's go in here. Nope. Yeah, you could sketch with spheres. This is even. This is cool. Look at that, guys. Oh yeah, the profile goes sphere. Oh, rotated box. Oh my, oh my word! Look at that, guys. This is a cool sketch. We could almost do anything with this. Wow, 
3D coat is amazing. This is why it's good to explore, guys. You know, we look, look, look at what we found. And I think you could use a line with this one. Oh, that's even cooler. <gasps> wow. What? He's doing steady stroke off. We don't we don't need that. We don't need to steady our hands. That is so cool. This line one, the one with the line is not working that well. Let's go back. Uh, let's check out the brush again. But oh, the brush is nice though. Yeah, to be able to sketch like this is kind of pretty nifty. You have a square pro a rotated box profile. Let's see what else they have in here. Screen aligned box, really? Oops. That is nifty. Yeah, so this is truly a screen aligned box. Box and brush. Hmm, what does that mean? So, so far, this uh, spheres tool is uh, is almost like the sketch tool that we want to be able to sketch in 3D. This this is this is nifty, and we could do all kinds of stuff with this. Like uh, let's let's try to do like a car profile or something. Let's clear this layer. Okay. If you look down the line here. Let's try for a, let's try for a funky uh, car profile or something. Hey guys, don't judge me. I'm not a an a car designer. So if you're into cars and stuff, you probably know exactly what profiles you like. This is nifty. Look at this, guys. What? Yeah, that's kind of jacked up, but... <laughs> but very cool, you could do stuff like this. Let's see what else they have. Box and brush, I don't know, a cylinder. A cylinder, let's see. Ah, it's a cylinder that way. Okay, okay. Cylinder and brush. Okay, so the unbrushed ones I don't like. This, okay, so the so far spheres is nice. It's nice and smooth. And I get going.
Okay, so this is a, this is definitely a sketch brush. So I like the the rotated box. That's kind of cool. We're gonna add this one. Let's go ahead and add this into the presets. Add preset. Aha! So that is that is cool. This is all for sketching. Very cool. Like it. Like it. Love it. Sketch in 3D. That's that's what we want, guys. I'm doing an, an arm here, guys. Just just so that you know. <laughs> oh man, let's check it. Let's let's see what's up. Okay, there you go. Oh, look at that. Oh. Some kind of power arm or something like that. Oh, what's this? Cancel. Cancel. I don't think I switched rooms by accident. New room. Uh, remove the room. I think we're back on track here. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, this sketch tool is gonna, gonna be great. Can we find like another sketch tool? So there's 2D paint. Let's see if 2D paint draws by itself. I don't know. So with 2D paint you can make a thing like that. Isn't there a brush also? Okay. Oh you could you could do stuff with 2D paint as a brush. Right, I think I've used this a long time, a long time ago. Let's see here. So yeah, this is a whole, this thing here is a whole thing. So let's go to the, let's clear, let's clear all this, this junk I got here. Okay. Let's check this, this brush out. So, so far we got two, we got two uh, brushes that, two tools that we could sketch with. I think this sticks on a plane, so pick a point, you know. Yeah, this stays like kind of in a weird, in a weird place. Whoa! It did not like that. That that what I just did there may be to Kingdom Come there. Uh oh. I think I, I think I have it thinking too much, guys. I think that, uh, okay, it looks like the operation took too long. Would you want to break it? Press yes. Okay, let's quit 3D code again. Let's come back in. Oh, yes, I want to break it. Yes. Okay. Oh, right, we're back, we're back, we're back. Okay, so. Yeah, this you gotta be careful with this one though. So you could sketch on stuff. Let's see what the let's see what these are uh, the settings here is about. Plain divine by right clicking. Right? So only if you have like a if you have like see like I could right click on a surface and then all of a sudden I'm drawing along that plane. So this one is good, right? It's good for this one is good for if you already have an object in there. If you're just doing stuff just off of like from wherever it's not probably gonna do that good. So I still like this one. Alright, pick point and forward. Yeah. Yeah, so this 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 is not bad. Right? These things are good for like when you have a full character and you could like go in there and, and things. So this is I would still consider this a, a sketchy tool. Let's let's add it. Let's add it. Add preset. Right. So you can still draw from nothing, right? And that's the whole point. Okay. Let's see here. What else? Okay, we got plane. So these are different tools. I don't think you could draw with these tools or anything like that. These tools are. These tools are to cut through stuff and that kind of thing. See like, that's the plane right there, so you pick like a point. You pick a point like that. 
pick a point like that. Yeah, like that. And you pick another point. And you could just you could just do stuff on that on that plane. Alright, this one here, you know, you could I think this plane you could flatten along this plane. Yeah, you could cut carbon into stuff, so whatever. But that's not a tool that we want. We have scrape smudge. I think that's all the tools you could actually draw. Like you could sketch into nothing, nothingness, you know, and get something. Let's just look again. Um, clay fast draw. We're looking for any tools where we could like just start sketching. Relax, sharpen. Okay, none of that. Okay, let's check adjust. I like check everything just just to make sure. You know, sometimes you might skip things that are pretty cool. Look, we have to have a tool where you can measure stuff. Cell, undercut, molding. To do molding in here, that, that's so cool. Paint, right? Yeah, this is no what confuses me. Okay guys, let's let's do something. What you know what I would like in 3D code? I would like to be able to sculpt straight up, sculpt something and then paint on it without having to retopo it or anything like that. Is that even possible? I don't even know. Let's try. Let's do it. Let's do a test. You know we're testing stuff. Let's clear this. This. Let's clear this. Okay, it's cleared. So first of all, let's. Uh, I think the the sphere tool is like the most important. I think the blob tool next, and then the two D paint. Okay, so let's come in with a sphere with a sphere sketch. Let's rotate. Uh, let's make something. Right. Let's make something, and then we can see if we can paint on it. I'm gonna come here, right? I'm gonna go do like that. Ah, uh, key dokey. Let's make a. This is his chest. Let's make his head. <laughs> right. Once you have these things, some there's other tools that that go really make this stuff really quick. All right, whatever. His head. Don't spend too much time on this. Let's do his arm. Right, it's more or less like a stick man, but it's all good. We, we're gonna get there, guys. Okay. Let's do this, this lower arm here. Oh yeah, and there's another tool also where you could make something. There's other tools for creation. Uh, we could we could do that too. And the other tools for creation, they have like a like a curves tool that's kind of like Z spheres. If you know, if you're accustomed to ZBrush, I'll show you guys that in a minute. And maybe we could add it here to the sketch. Oh, look at this! Yeah, this guy's made out of bubble gum. Let's turn off the the ground because that might that might um you know we want to keep our minds free to do something cool. He's an alien because he has a uh, reverse legs. And we're just sketching here, guys. We could change uh, the look of this. Go like into Y. Ideally, you want you want, you probably want like black or something like that. Can we can we make a black a black one, guys? Even this is kind of cool. Just do that. Probably his legs could come in. What would be the quickest way to bring his legs in? Yeah, to use a move tool. I right, do have, have a move tool right here. Like so. Oh, now we're sculpting. Probably I should have made this bigger.
it's all good. This is, you know, like when things, when you first start up, everything is freeform, and you could like really screw around with things. Let's rotate this. Oh, look at that! It's not bad, not bad. And never underestimate the power of like using simple tools in whatever program you have. You know, like I've gone on, um, I've looked at YouTube and there's people on YouTube that actually do, actually do stuff with MS Paint. And it looks amazing. And I was like, you know, that stuff looks so good. You know, some people, you know, there's a quote out there that says, oh, it's not the tool, it's the artist, right? And that, I think that's true. I like that quote. But, you know, there's a difference between a hammer, you know, and a pencil, you know. There's a difference between a saw and a hammer. So if you have a tool that's not, that's not, um, not very good, it's only, you kind of limited, it kind of limits you a little bit. But then, you know, it kind of forces you to, to kind of work out the limitations. Oh, this beat is hot. And there's another tool you could do to, um, if you want to like manipulate stuff in 3D code, it's called, um, I think it's like the pose tool right here. See that right there? And all of a sudden you could, you could manipulate the thing. Let's go back to that move brush. Let's make it huge. Huge Rochester, huge. Now look at our guy, guys. We almost finished with him too, you know, cause we could prac, we want to see how he looks uh, once we think. So yeah, anyways, go back to the sketching. So we got our sketch, a lovely uh, sketch. Uh, why is that on the bottom? I want it to the tippy top, to the tippy top, stay to the tippy top. All right, let's go ahead and save presets. I just want to save this, whatever. spheres and we just continue continue adding now so I read the description on this it says it's gonna add wherever wherever the first point is control Z that control Z a little bit These are some beats I made a long time ago. This beat, this beat here. Not a long time ago, it's probably like a year, a year ago.
I gotta remember, this tool actually just does it on one plane. It doesn't go from one point to the next. So it's like draw from first point. So wherever, wherever plane you want it to go on, you gotta look directly at that plane. Like I wanna go from here to here, I gotta look directly at this, like this. And probably go across and it's still probably, yep. It's almost there. Yeah, so yeah, each of these things will be take a little while to get a kind of custom to. Whatever. Um, so let's see here. So we got all kind of weird guy here. So yeah, at this point in time, we probably want a regular brush. Because yeah, this truly just wants you to look directly at where you're going to draw. Like, I got to look directly at that. Then I'll draw there. Yep. Blob. Let's check the 2D, the 2D paint. The 2D paint, you just have to click on, on whatever layer you're on, and it's just, you just draw strictly on that. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. Now, now like, if I were to fill this guy up, I think now I'm going to use probably like regular, regular tools. So if we come in here. We just use like some like vox clay then we will be able to build this guy up let's build him up real quick oh is a vox clay is he being this inverted vox oh uh, cav let's go back clay or carve control z that back okay vox clay not carve there we go. I don't understand why they keep trying to turn steady stroke on. <laughs> I think there's another like thing called rapid. We could build up things like rapidly. Is that still around? Voxel tools. Let's try Vox Clay. There we go, that's better. Zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in, guys. I know I'm far away and you guys can't see what's happening. Let's go back here into brushes. Let's go to a regular, regular brush here. There we go. So, a weird alien guy. shaders is this the default shader make fresh hot beat okay so I made this the default shader it's blue This is old Alexis and Nick uh, hanging out with you guys. I mean, I'm not old or young, <laughs> young excited. This is a good, good old buddy and pal, Alexis and Nick hanging out with you on a Saturday. 
We've been going for we've been going for a minute here, guys. But let's just uh, you know, we're just exploring things. I'm just letting you guys see kind of like how I get, you know, how I stay motivated, how I get stuff going. Switching rooms. Go back here. Go back to the sculpture. I hope to inspire you. Whatever project you have going on, whether you're making a game or you're doing you're doing art or you think or you just like watching. You know, I mean, like, hey, you know, I'm trying to make this as a as engaging as possible guys any kind of feedback I appreciate and I take all feedback seriously kind of sketching a guy uh, maybe some kind of strong um, soul there probably an angelic soul there or a strong alien soul there or something like that You know, now is a would be a good time to like really check out those anatomy books, huh? Let's drop that uh, ZBrush uh, red wax on there. Makes things look cool. Of course, if you if you're sculpting and you're wondering, you know, you could sculpt from like, wow, oh, that's some pecs right there. <laughs> you know, you start from one, um, you start from one, one brush, and you kind of work your way down, and you just have to sculpt one side. We're just getting our skills up and up and running, guys. That's what we're doing right now. Building those creative juices. Now it feels truly like sketching because you know we got like the sketching. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to mirror it and see what we got. So we can just come in here and just let's make this turn on the symmetry plane. Easy symmetry. 
There we are. We're gonna mirror this. Let's go ahead. You notice, like, I'm seeing certain things that might be a problem, so I'm gonna fix those before we mirror it. Oops. Let's grab this guy here. What you doing there, buddy? Let's turn off symmetry for a minute. Okay, there we go, that's better. Bring this guy back. I'm just adjusting as I go. Okay, I think we may be able to, um, to mirror this guy over. <laughs> Look at this backward dog like thing.
Okay guys, so like <laughs> I spent too much time fixing our subject subject here. Let's uh let's mirror this guy. Copy, symmetry copy. <laughs> Bam! Oh, you look nothing like what I imagined. It's all good, guys. Whatever. Okay, so let's say this is our, our, our guy here that we're, that we're working on or whatever it is. Okay, the next thing I so we were able to sketch this guy out, get him going. I wonder if uh, we could paint on top of this guy. That's, a, that's my another, that's my next thing. Okay, I'm still tweaking him. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, this is just a, a test subject after all this time. So we, what we did, we, we go through, we got some things I could sketch. And then um, I just went into the regular tools that we have here for sculpting. And just start, you know, start messing around with him. Tools like, you know, you could use like the flatten tool. And I was just using the Vox Clay. Oops, sorry, excuse me. And, uh, you know, stuff like that and just kind of messing around with this guy. Yeah, look at that, just kind of, you start polishing away and start doing stuff. And there's a trick here in 3 where you can right click on the layer and tell it to, um, to resample the layer. Um, global space, you can tell it that and we'll try to get rid of any kind of slight stretching. You go local space, so uniform, uniform space. You know, and just kind of go through and just kind of work with it, work with it in different ways and stuff. But anyways, guys, so one thing I wanted to test out with this is, is to see if we could actually uh, paint directly on this model. You know, I think like if, if that's possible, that would be a good thing to to, um, to be able to do here in 3D Code. Now, if you look in the voxel room here, this is what is, might be confusing. You see paint stuff in here. So if I click on that, it's like, what does this do, you know? So let's uh, give him a solid white material, right? I got like um, this painting. I mean, what is this painting trying to do? I don't know, voxel paint depth. So the voxel paint depth is, um, I think it's a tool where it allows you to paint directly on the voxels.
Okay, so I got a brush, you got an airbrush, coloring. Okay, that's desaturation, sharpening. Okay, like kind of like um, filters. Got a smudge, clone, fill. Okay, so you select like brush. This is a color. So we can paint with color, we can paint with depth. We can paint with glossiness, so I might want that, I might want that, I might just want color. How do you know which color we are, we're painting with? I think there may be like a color, like a color thing somewhere around here. Let's look in um, windows, panels, color, see the color palette, color swashes, the color palette. There you go, that's the color palette. Let's just put the color palette in here. It's all good. Yeah, I think if you change so now we could like, paint directly on the on the model, I think. Let's go here. Yeah, look at that guys. Uh, that's pretty neat. And this is something I kinda always wanted just to be able to paint straight on a voxel model. You know, no big deals. So they allow they allow you to, to finally kinda do that, which is kinda neat. So if you just want to like have a quick, um, do a quick voxel model and you want to paint on it without having to like um, retopo it and all that sort of stuff, you know, like if you want it for concept art, you could do that. Just paint directly on it. Now I'm wondering if there's like paint layers here. Oh, actually there is. Look, like it says layer one on there. Oh, so it actually, I know there's sculpt layers and there's paint layers. So this, this those layers handle both things. And that's something pretty interesting to know. But well, I think I put the, unlock the layer. There you go. And this is what you said, this fill, this is what this fill does. Oh, come on. So, like, fill now. You can do it like that. Smart preview. Ah, look at that. I saw the whole thing will look if we fill it. So, let's fill the layer. Do you want to fill the entire layer? Yeah, boy. Okay, let's see if we can just fill like part of the, the, the model. Let's hide that. Something like that. Oh, wait a minute, we need a different color. <laughs> let's, let's jump in here and let's grab a different color. Ah, yeah, boy. Right, so notice it only did it to the polygon that's facing. I think you should be able to tell it to, to not ignore back facing, and now we could fill whatever is in that selection, even all the way to the back. Let's try it now. Okay, we just did it. Yep, it went all the way to the back. That's neat. Let's get some black going on here with this guy. Let's do that. We have symmetry on so we could do stuff. Let's look. Yeah, boy. Uh 
Aha, uh -huh. so the cool thing about this now is that we can continue sculpting. I'm thinking, oh, we gotta, this is a the moment of truth if we can continue sculpting while we, while we paint, that'll be, that'll be stellar. Let's, let's check it out. So we have the carve tool, we have the, let's drop some flat, some flat surfaces on this guy. So check, just pick the flatten tool. Yeah, it kind of switched over. Oh yeah, but look, look at this, guys. We're able to. Yeah, we're able to. Oh wow, that is hot. We're able to still s sculpt on this guy. That's amazing. Give you flatten tool a little bit bigger, a little bit more. Let's zoom out on this guy a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we're still able to sculpt on this guy. That is amazing. Ah, uh, let's, go, let's go for the head. So I just did plain color. You could do like glossiness too, if you wanted. Let's try, let's try to, let's go back into the color, the coloring, the brush. So you could actually do this stuff when I think you couldn't. So like, this is glossy, put glossy on. I don't want like 100% glossy. Let's go like, uh, let's go like 30%, right? Let's get a, let's get that uh, red back. Let's go a little deeper red. Let's just see if we can make, make us head a, uh, a little bit glossy. Oh, we got a we got a brush. You can use a paint brush. Let's use a full tool. Look at that! Wow, that is some glossy. Uh, <laughs> that's a glossy face. He almost looks like a Spider-Man villain. Looking a little gross though. Let's do blue instead. Ah, oh, this is so cool, man. I can't believe it. Let's go. Let's, put, let's get some black back up in there. Let's get some black up back up in here. Yeah, it's glossy. Let's get, let's get our red back, guys. Let's see if we could, uh... Oh, we have the point-to-point, -point, uh, list lasso. Let's try that, which is way better, because you could, there's a little more control. Oops. Oops, my bad. Let's go back, back, back. Back. Good for concept art. Oh, I didn't think, uh, I didn't think that, um, like this glossiness, oh, the gloss is 100%. I thought I changed it down. No wonder it's so, like, <laughs> shiny. Uh, yeah, 
turn that down to 30 or something. Yeah, that's what we want. No wonder he was like shiny as a. There we go. We're much better. I was like, 30% is like really glossy, you know? <laughs> okay. Let's, let's degloss him. Okay, now we can like go back and, and sculpt some stuff. So we got uh, clay. Let's go, let's, Jump back in here. Oh, come on. I don't know why it keeps going back to that steady stroke. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Like, we could come in here and we could, like, wow, just add stuff. Fox paint, man. Fox paint. And there's a clone, like, look at this, there's a clone um, tool here. You can clone from one side to the next. Clone type translation. So you can should you hold Alt down to select the source. No? How do you clone in here? Clone type translation, mirroring, inverse, whatever. Whatever, I'm not even going to get into that. Power smooth. What is that? What is it? What is that? Select a clone type from the drop down menu to modify clone surface from one area to another. Disable, disable channels. Okay, I got you, I got you. There's all this painting right here coloring. I see smoothing, saturation, darkness, sharpen. Wow! And then you have like erase. You could erase. You could put text. The text is pretty interesting. Oh, wait a minute, did I do something just now there? Uh, let's click on text. Okay, some text. We could put text on him. Let's see. We could turn symmetry off on this one. Aha! Look at that. Let's put some text on him. And let's make the text uh, yellow. Can we get a bold? Make the size a little bit bigger. Go 80. Let's change the, the word. Uh, Oh, what kind of game is this we're making? Specimen 01? Ooh. You have the Vox Paint depth right here. The volumatic Slice Painting. Wow, I have no idea. This is some pretty, uh, it sounds pretty advanced. We could change the color on the fly right here. Yeah, that white is pretty nifty. Okay, and then hit Apply and it'll apply it. Can I, I mean, can we make this bigger? Oh yeah, there we go. Assess the depth. Oh, 
Oh, you can make it. Oh. They thought of everything. Okay, let's hit apply. Let's see enough screen around. Let's go back into sculpting. Oh, so you could do that. Look at that. It did it. Try some flatten on here. And watch, you could like sculpt over it and it stays. <laughs> That's neat. Been asking for this for a while. I mean, I guess they had it in here. It's just didn't know. I don't know what this is about here. I don't know why how that happened like this. Pretty interesting. So what am I making here, guys? This is just uh, me experimenting. Let's put symmetry back on. I'm just experimenting with this tool that I use called 3D Code. Just to see the possibilities, because you know, who knows? Like you could use some of this uh, because I use it regularly to produce some. Um, 3D content and stuff, you know, you want to kind of explore your tools from time to time. See what's available. Alright, just want to do some voxel sketching. A cool thing about this is probably you could take this guy, um, make a small render of him and dump him into like a stable diffusion AI and get some concepts off of how he looks. Then you could use that to make like a final, like a real, you could get some real sculpting now so it's no longer just sketching and playing around with the sculpt, it's now like I could use this to sculpt this cool uh, thing. Yeah, just playing around with this guy, guys. And shiny is always good, huh? <laughs> this is a one shiny shoot this guy has on. He's like some kind of Resident Evil, uh, you know that game, um, where they did perform experiments or they have experimental uh, creatures or whatever it is kind of like that but you know what he's probably just like a weird robot
Alright guys, that's enough of me fooling around with this thing. I don't know what this thing is, but whatever, it's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it. But yeah, you know, we were able to like just test out some stuff here in 3D code. I was able to uh, make a preset here with these uh, brushes where we could just kind of sketch in free space and make something of it, which is cool. Um, I think if you're doing hard surfaces though, you probably want to start from primitives, right? So if you're doing like, um, if you're making like some of the stuff we made in the past, like guns and and buildings and and anything that's a hard surface, like a door or whatever it is, you know, we start from a we start from a primitive. You know, which uh, what you have in here? Let's see where the, where are the primitives? Right here. Uh, objects right here. Let's go. Yep, primitives. Start. You know. You, yeah, you could start. You could like start with a cube, of course, which you know, which is you know, lends itself to to hard surface stuff. Oops. Yeah, let's do like that. Let's just move this to the side here. So if this guy had to have like a cube, a cube gun or something, you know, or a rectangle gun, you know, we would use this. Uh, we would use this to kind of make something real quick there for him. You know, just go ahead and hit apply. Oh, 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 oh. let's control Z that back. Okay, you make a new layer and then do it. <laughs> Yeah, let's make a new layer like that, and all of a sudden we get that. We can just go ahead and start like, you can even use the same uh, cube to start cutting some shapes out of this thing. You know, of course, you know, you the square cube guns, which is uh, ever so popular. Let's just go ahead and subtract that, like so. Let's continue. I'm gonna come down a bit. Subtract out of there. Yeah, you, you guys have seen seen us uh, design like some nice, nicely uh, complex things, and I don't need to use my uh, tablet for this. You know, this is all at this point in time. You know, like using your mouse something like this would be pretty pretty cool or good enough whatever that thing is is going to look like you know you could design it here easily
That's a weird gun. Has potential, you know, you could do a bunch of stuff with this stuff. This kind of stuff, you know, it's really cool, it's pretty cool. You know, get your starting, starting somewhere on something. Alright guys, so I'm gonna call that a stream. And uh, I just want to say thanks for all the, uh, everyone that's been lurking, checking it out. We, you know, we did some adventure today, you know, we did some animation in Blender. Um, you know, we had um, Vibes and Mystical donated to our um, learning character animation in Blender uh, community challenge here. Uh, yeah, so we did the animation in Blender where, you know, the bad guy was able to, you know, we did like at least one or two um, attack, maybe the one attack, right? And we did an idle and that kind of thing, you know? Then we broke, broke away, made a little bit of music. I played a, a little bit of Street Fighter, Jump straight here into 3D code to test out the tools and that kind of thing. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, God bless. We will come back and we'll do more progress. We'll do more creation. Um, this was a little bit of an experiment. This is just me testing things out, making a new toolbar. But um, we'll get back into actually making full uh, proper um, things here in 3D code. Yeah, we're not gonna save this here. This was just a, a nice little test. And yeah, stuff like that. So, you know, um, a, a thing that we could probably come back and do would be to come in here with the head and, sorry, come in here with this suit and we could um, actually do some topology on this suit and then um, we would actually texture the suit in 3D code, we'll do some proper topology, we we'll do some proper UV mapping and put it on the character and bone her up and that kind of thing. And I think I also want to update the other suit that we have, you know, in the next uh, in the next stream. Which, God willing, God willing, the next stream will be on Monday. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. If you don't see me tomorrow, I'll see you on Monday. God bless. And if you want to see some of the animations and stuff that inspire me, if you haven't seen them before or watch any other videos, they'll come right up after after um, after we sign out here. So. I want to say thanks and peace. Awesome. Stay tuned for animation. actually outro with uh with vibes is new the song that we made for vibes uh vibes games let's do that let's play the let's play vibes uh the music that we made for <laughs> made for vibes it'll be i think it'll sound pretty good let's go vibes makes games
Ты взять. 